Six. Oh my god. That was awful. Hello, hello! How's it going? Welcome, welcome, folks. Thank you, Odin, for the uh, jump scare. And uh, thank you, Odin and Rosu, for swinging by. How's it going? Gonna be... I'm gonna have it up in a second. I'm gonna start off today with a little bit of artwork. And from there... Uh, I don't know. I'm probably going to be doing some gaming later. And I've got an idea for a homebrew, but I'm going to have to try and figure out how to work around it and work with it. Start up the music. Start up. Let's start up the music, too. <laughs> I I'm sorry that you were just as jump scared as I was, <laughs> Rosa Will. But how are you two doing today? Hope you're having a lovely day. We're gonna start off by finishing up, hopefully, uh, Skylar's artwork here. Um, hey Tate, how's it going? You doing well enough, just feeling lazy? Hey, sometimes you need the lazy days, you know? So don't deny yourself those when you when your body is saying, "Hey, I could really use a break." It looks like that's mainly just for the top bit there, and also the legs. Fucking mood. Yeah. Sounds like a lot of folks been having a stressful week. Understandably so. Kind of feels like everything is stressful these days. everything that should be... Oh, dang it, I forgot her hands have the gloves, too. Alright, well, we can fix that real quick. Uh, it's your first lazy day in weeks and you're enjoying it? Nice! Nice, nice, nice. Still in PJs? Hey. You know what? If you're in a place where you can comfortably wear PJs for the entire day, whether be danged, then you you do you. You deserve it. You've been trying to do things but not uh happening. They've been pretty good overall. I'm glad to hear that. Uh I've been doing pretty well. I've been oh I've been a little more busy than uh than normal because um my my partner, uh, Pedami, has been just really, really stressed out at work the last few, well, I would say days, but weeks, and I want to be able to help lighten the load at home a little bit, so hopefully that's been helping them out at least. I'm um, also hoping to be able to have at least one more, one more big date soon. So I've been trying to figure out when I could meet up with my partners to do something fun. Maybe go to a zoo or go to the beach. Uh, also, also this month, one of my uh, good good friends is coming up from Texas to celebrate her birthday with all of her friends that live in the Northeast. And I'm I'm a little I'm a little concerned about that because so this is one of my friends that is very fashionable like uh 
she was one of the people that kind of helped me get into Lolita and other kinds of J fashion as an art, as like, as, yeah, you know, well, fashion is definitely an art form, I can say that, as like an art form as well as just things to wear. And she has two very specific things that she wants to be doing for her birthday, and I'm trying to figure out what the best way to interpret her prompts is, if that makes sense. So, in the day, she wants to meet up with a bunch of friends and to go berry picking. And she specified that for the daytime, the dress code is going to be fairy core. However you want to interpret fairy core. Maybe it means doing, like, something cottagecore? Cool. Maybe it means, like, dressing up like, uh, like you'd be at home in Harajuku? Cool. Maybe it means you're dressing like you're going to a Ren fair? Cool. As long as it's something that says fairy core one way or another, then you're gonna be right at home in this. That's the daytime. Then, at night, she wants to go to I think it's I think it's probably going to be round one. One of those like arcades that kind of cater to uh adults. Oh, hello! Hello Morin, how's it going? Thank you for the fifty biddies, I appreciate it. Uh so at night she wants to go to round one and the dress code for the arcade part of the party is going to be, uh, I think she described it as K-pop fashion. However you want to inter interpret K-pop fashion. Uh, so, I mean, I'll be real, I'm not really that, I, I don't really have very good music variety, so I I don't really listen to K-pop. I don't really know what would be a good thing for that. I've listened to J-pop, and I've got things that could kind of be J-pop outfits, but I don't really know about K-pop. Also, uh, I've got the additional problem of, um... I've got the additional problem of being very indecisive as to what I would want to wear for the fairy core part of the date. So if anyone wants to help me figure that stuff out, much appreciated. Sounds like a lot of fun, but a lot to get ready for. Absolutely. Absolutely. But like, since, um, since... I'm not going to be able to do some of the stuff that I would normally do in the summer for, like, health and safety reasons. I really want to make sure the stuff that I can still do is going to be extra special, you know? Also, how you doing today, Morin? Dressing like you're about to inflict madness upon cruel humans for having the audacity to gaze upon your physical form. Yeah, like, that's another completely valid interpretation of the prompt. And I'm not really sure where to go with it, if I'm honest. Because regardless, I don't really feel like I have quite enough clothing of any one interpretation to go with that one, so I'm not totally sure what to do. Really good, you just got your consult date? Pog! Oh, that's so good. I'm really happy to hear that for you, Morin. I... I've never had to have anything more advanced than a, like, a dental surgery before, so I can't imagine how nervous that's... how, like, nerve-wracking that would be, but I hope everything goes super-duper smoothly for you. 
And I hope, uh, before long, you got yourself a brand spanking new chest piece to work with. The way you interpret fairy core as a floral and fungal theme. See, that's kind of something that I was thinking of, and, like, I do have uh, a really nice, like, dark blue and dark green mushroom-themed dress. I also have, like, a really bright and sunny-looking, like, sky blue and, like, little red Amanita toadstool mushroom skirt, but I feel like I still need something else for it, too. And also, I have to consider practical things, too. Like, this is going to be something that I'll be wearing outside uh, to a place where I'm going to presumably be fairly active. Like, it's been a little while, but when I remember as a younger bun going to pick berries, it was always a very... It was a very physically demanding experience. Not to brag, but uh, I'm pretty ripped. I've picked many berries <laughs> in my day. On the plus side, with a fungal theme, you can pull off a kim uh, kimoko kor kimori. Kimoko kimori. Oh, uh, is that the name of the uh, the mushroom girl from My Hero? It's been a while since I've read that one or watched it. I kind of fell off of the series when... Actually, shortly after they finally named that character, when they revealed, surprise! Uh, actually, our main character doesn't just have the one power, he's got, like, seven. <laughs> and it's like, hmm, that's an interesting choice you've made with the story here. I'm going to make an interesting choice as well, which is to stop reading this. But yeah, either way, I feel like I need something more to add to the outfit. Not them berry gains, hell yeah. But that's a fair reason to not watch anymore. Also, have you thought about wearing a flower in your hair? Hmm. What kind of flower? Oh wait, actually, I think I've. I think I've posted the dress that I would consider wearing to this before. So, let me see if I can find that real quick. Yeah, uh, here it is. Oh, hey, comrade, how's it going? Uh, let's get this up on the main feed real quick. So, this is one of the outfits that I was considering wearing for this. It's pretty straightforward. No, not that one. Uh, this one, please. And, like, I do like the pattern. It is a nice fungal print. But I need to have more things that I could wear with it, is the main thing. Like, I I think that the fungal is a good starting point. I don't think it's enough in and of itself, though. I, I've got to accessorize properly. Mm 
Why are you so cute and how did I get the superpower? Um, I don't know. I, I got so cute from, uh, years of self-doubt and insecurity and, uh, then, like, a couple of years of spironolactone and estradiol. Uh, I think that's about everything. Damn, I'll drink to that. Downs a hundred milliliters of pure estradiol. Maybe you need more charms in a handbag to go though, uh, to go through it. Maybe. Hmm. Also, to be fair, I also look cute in that because I'm able to dress for it. So, I am not like... I wouldn't say that that is my normal cute level. That's significantly higher in that deck. Oh, don't worry. I, I figured out what you meant, Rose Zulu. Yeah, sorry to hear that, Russia. Must have been something you said. Yeah. Yeah, I, I try not to think about that stuff too much just because most of the time I, I, I've got enough stuff to worry about. Anyway, though. Wait, how is how is this happening? Okay, uh, good. Well, for uh, for a second, I had somehow gotten off for that. Okay. Yeah, that's the spirit. But yeah, I'm I'm gonna have to ask ask my friend again about the specific wording of the prompt, and then like kind of like okay, so where where are we going specifically for this to make sure that I'm able to like both dress nicely and also dress in a way that like I won't feel bad if I get I don't know berry stains or something all over it, you know? I think those are both very important considerations for me. Honestly, I think uh, another another good way to think about it is faking it until you making it. And I think that if you're able to get to a point where you can confidently say something even if you don't believe it yourself yet, 
They'll still eventually get to a point where it will be true. Definitely need to size up for this one. I get that I'm hot as hell, I just wish I could do the whole cute style. Hmm. Well, what makes you feel like you can't? I guess that would be my counter question. Because I, I know that, for me, something that was definitely true about my uh, experiences with HRT has been that I'm generally more confident in being able to present as like cute femme as I feel but at the same time since I'm able to do that and I'm like more confident in being read that way I also don't really mind doing similar kinds of more like masculine clothing options that I would have before transitioning been really uncomfortable with. I think that that sort of uh that sort of Oh. Alright, see you around Odin. Have a good one. I th I think that that sort of uh reassurance that yeah I I don't necessarily need to dress a certain way to have people recognize me as a gender that I want to be viewed as. I think that gave me a lot more confidence when it came to being able to dress in more androgynous or outright masculine styles, too. At least that's where I'm coming from it. I, I don't know if the same could be, like, comparable to... Uh, anything that you're working with, Morin? I got that. I don't be doing more of that back there. I'm gonna have to switch over into non-symmetrical mode for that. Oh, we can do that. Okay. Oh, right. <laughs> um. Like, well, what kind of... What kind of fashion would you like to get into, Morin? If, uh... If you're, like, in an ideal, I am comfortable with every aspect of myself. Money is no object. If you're, like, in those kind of ideal conditions. Probably kawaii culture. Hmm. Okay. I mean, there's a lot of good entry points to that. And... I think that that's fairly reasonable. You could certainly... Oh, but right now you've gotten modeling? Hmm? Modeling? How do you mean? You mean you work as a model? That's kind of cool. Mm 
But I mean, I think Hawaii culture is a good, fairly accessible one because while some of the higher end stuff is, you know, higher end and more expensive, there's also a fair amount of cheap stuff out there. You can start with basic accessorizing and kind of work out a good comfort level. You take your own amateur pictures? Cool! Well, if you ever feel comfortable, I'd be happy to check them out sometime. Hmm. I hope so, too. If anything, I think that, like... Being a transitioning trans person would give you the opportunity to do a lot of really interesting and neat stuff with photo shoots that you couldn't really do if you were just, like, cis, you know? Oh, whoops, wrong layer. Haha, <laughs> funny joke, Rain. Live and learn! Hanging on the edge of tomorrow! You used to take pictures of forests and stuff, but since your camera broke, you couldn't really do it anymore, and cameras are expensive. Oh, for sure. Like, a, a, a good SLR camera can go, what, like a couple thousand bucks these days? I mean, if all else fails, it's not going to be nearly as nice, perhaps. But there's still a lot you can do with other kinds of cameras, too, isn't there? You want an old camera from the 40s? Hmm. Yeah, that will definitely cost you. I know my papa dear. Uh, my papa dear used to be a uh, a professional photographer when uh, when he was younger, and I know that he has a whole collection of antique and vintage cameras and camera paraphernalia and such. And I also know, unfortunately, that he's only really kept it as like museum piece stuff, so I I don't think much of it would be very usable anymore. Or at least not without, like, heavy restoration work. Which I guess could be a fun project in and of itself. Uh, you mean not as much as some stuff you bought? Hmm, true. I wonder at what point something being an antique and, like, a good condi condition usable antique would make it cheaper than buying something that's new or new-ish. Hmm. Live and learn, hanging on the edge of tomorrow. Live and learn. Live and learn. If you beg or if you borrow, you may never find your way. I'm impressed though, because like. Cameras that old are completely different beasts mechanically. I'm impressed that you would know how to use those kind of cameras still. That's, well, impressive. That's a cool skill. 
I wish my Papa Deer had kept up with photography. It was something he clearly enjoyed a lot, but he just doesn't really do it anymore. But what can you do? You can't force someone to fall back in love with something they uh, fall at, fell out of. That's what you think, but you got a pretty good motivator right here. Huh? What do you mean? How so? <laughs> <laughs> Le gun. We go, and it was nice chatting with you all. It was nice chatting with you too, Russia. I hope you have a good rest of your day, comrade, and uh, I'll see you around. Take care. <sighs> oh. Hey, Totoro, you woke up? Oh, here, let me help you. Careful, I don't want you to fall. My son has woken up from his nap and has hopped up on the back of my chair like a little gremlin. Now he's getting his scent all over the desk. Thank you for the lick. He gets so affectionate sometimes, and he can just turn on a dime. Gosh, yes, son. <laughs> can I help you, sir? Can I help you, Mr. Kissy Man? Are you going to be a good boy today? Uh, hey, 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 off the desk. You know, that's off limit. Cat must take over. Your stuff is his now. Yep. Oh, by the way, I, uh, I got the Totoro emote reaction working again. So if anyone wants to pelt me with my cat, uh, you're now able to again. Thank you for the nose kiss. There you go. Okay. Don't you raise your hand to your mother. I rub my scent on you too. Gotta remember the little stars on the cheeks. It's not really line art form, so I'll just have to do it in shading. I learned a neat way to do those recently, though, so I'll see if I can get that to work. Are you going to allow me to put my arm down so I can keep working normally, son? Oh, okay. 
the song of the week. Cause the money's gonna pay you when you just want to the world Then it's all because of me You never have a chance to love me I have- I hadn't heard it in ages before I heard it on DJ Seahorse's set, and then I just got it stuck in my head. If you've ever played a D&D &D or something like it before, you might have had a similar thing where you'll listen or watch something and it will inspire character ideas and they'll just stay in there. They'll just live in your head rent-free until you can do something with them one way or another. So dance, fucking dance. You want freedom? That depends on how much food you have to bargain with. <laughs> you know, actually, surprisingly, Totoro's not really much of a food motivated cat. Like, uh,. You would think for someone who had, uh, who had been abandoned that he might be, but he's more of like an, hey, hey, pause off the desk, sir. But he's really more of a, uh, attention-motivated cat, and only when he wants the attention, so he can be very picky. You've just been listening to songs he used to listen to and been getting more and more ideas lately. Oh. What kind of ideas? Put that paw down, sir. He's also a fairly toy motivated cat, I'll say that much. You can't relate. You're very food motivated. Mood. Okay, now let's see if I can remember how to do this. I think it is... Uh... I think it's like this. Yeah! Oh, that is really cool. That works so well. Oh, that is awesome! That really is a perfect star maker. Awesome! Oh, that is so cool! Perfect stars every time! Hmm? Yeah. 
Hello, hello. But yeah, about those pictures, boudoir style picture, just as a warning, you, if you still want to see them. Uh, so you take pictures of furniture? So now that I've got one, I can kind of just copy paste as needed for this. Oh, hey Nina, how's it going? Uh, it means bedroom, but it's a style of picture that's more sensual in nature. Hmm. I mean. It's up to you, I guess, really. If you feel comfortable with it. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a look. Transform, flip the layer? No. Uh, sounds very really cool. But well, fuck, you've been in the same space as you with clothes and wanting to look away, but feeling like you're missing the mark, it sucks right now. Yeah, I, I get that mood. Oh, okay. I mean, again, if you are comfortable with it, Go right ahead, but you should not feel obligated to. Copy of this one. Yes. There we go. But yeah, I. 
it's part that and also part I want to be able to have enough clothes to do a lot of cool chords. But that's also like a whole process in and of itself sometimes. Your problem with cute or kawaii fashion is that all it's all made for people who aren't super tall. Ah, I see. You are what they call told. Understood. Five ten? Ooh. Oh that is very tall. That that's a good that's a good powerful height. But I can also see why it could be pretty troublesome. Also, hey still, how's it going? Hope you're having a wonderful day. You're A-OK, -okay, just woke up. Nice, 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 nice. You were six foot before HRT? Wait, you got shorter? Hmm? How's that work? I didn't know that was something that could happen with HRT in that direction. Or am I getting my chats mixed up? That, that's actually genuinely news to me. I, I didn't know that that could happen. I know MTF definitely that can happen. Hmm. Today I learned. You know, something that might also help a little bit, Morin. It's something that I only learned about a little while ago through a friend who's much more, like, fashion aware. But have you ever heard of something called the, uh... Let me see. Let me make sure I get this right. Yeah, have you ever heard of something called the Kibbe system? The K-I-B-B-E body type system? Because I did not, and it kind of helped... It kind of helped interpret what kind of clothes would be really flattering for my body type. And it may help you too.
if you would like a link to it, I can provide. But that would that would be maybe my suggestion to give that a look see, because it might help if you kind of like rethink what specifically it is that looks best for your body type as well. Not to say, obviously, that you can't dress cutely. Just that some things might look differently and better on your body type than on others. It's mm, a little too much blood stain, I think. But I know that that, for me at least, helped me kind of reconsider some of my personal feelings about my body type, which were already pretty complicated on account of the whole being trans. Oh, uh, it's called the Kibby system, as in the. Let me make sure I spell this right. Yeah, as in the Kibby body type system. Uh, the site that I was referred to, and the one that I kinda followed with the help of a friend who actually knew what she was talking about, and kinda helped walk me through it, uh, was this website. It requires taking a little bit of a quiz, which is kind of like a self-analysis quiz. You don't necessarily need exact measurements, but it's going to help kind of... It'll give you a certain archetype, and from there it will give you rough ideas of, like, what what would look best on that kind of body type. Like, for me personally, with how my body is built, uh, I am a dramatic style essence. That means some of the things that look best on me are large, natural sort of prints, very sharp 
geometrical large shapes, unconventional sort of styles. It's... it's a lot to think about. But it's... it's something to consider. And it's not like a be-all, end-all, it's more just like saying, hey, if you wanted to, this could look pretty good on you. If you don't want to, it's totally fine too. You think we've put enough blood on Skylar at this point? More blood? Okay, if you say so. Okay, but have you considered Ninja going? Because I, I really think you should strongly consider going. Ninja going, Ninja go. <laughs> that actually reminds me of uh, of a character I'm going to be doing this weekend. Instead of the uh, normally scheduled D and D on Sunday. We've actually got uh, a, a celebratory one-shot over on my DM Lytro the Bronze's channel. Uh, he's celebrating 250 Twitter fo uh, not Twitter Twitch followers by having a interactive D and D game where chat gets to make decisions about what happens to us. And, uh, well, I, I guess to explain a little more, my character for it is a cleric and monk who has, um, who has, like, very specific... Uh, she, she's like a very specific, sort of very peaceful, chill, orcish priestess. I, I, I just wanted to do something to subvert the whole collection of orc, uh, of orc stereotypes. She's just a super chill, very gentle person who gets into uh, debates about theology where uh, specifically why I thought about it was one of the character lines which are just like what what is a line I can think of for this character that would help me get into the headspace of the character and for her it's okay so now now well I understand if you look in the uh, if if you look in most of the common tongue translations of the Book of Grumpsh, it does say 
blood for the blood god. Granted, yes. However, that's a mistranslation of the intent of the text. You see, if you look at the actual meanings of the original Orkish, you'll see that the point isn't to offer blood to the blood god, but rather that only the blood god is the one to have the divine right to draw the blood of another sentient being. This is why most orcs that you'll see uh, that follow the hardline orthodox teachings of Grumsh are vegetarian or vegan. Though, honestly, and I'm guilty of this myself, uh, most non-orthodox Grumsh practitioners agree that it is largely okay if you want to eat meat still. And that's like, that's in a nutshell the whole concept of her character and I'm really looking forward to playing her on Sunday. You already love this? Thank you! And don't worry, Drumhildr already loves you. But yeah, uh, if you're interested in seeing that, swing by Lytro the Bronze's channel this Sunday. I'll be posting ads to it over on uh, on Twitter and Discord. Oh, I dropped my pen on Twitter and Discord too. <laughs> Oh wait, uh, before I do this, I should actually flatten this to here, maybe? Mm. Okay, I'm gonna have to flatten a couple things. Oh, what? Oh, right, it's this one. Okay, so now that I got that set up... Nice and gentle. And I have a nice little spotlight on her. Alright, chat, what do you think? I think we might have a finished doodle here. It has been zero days since our last war crime. It's okay though, she's doing the uwu soft bean finger touch though, so you, you're not allowed to get mad at her legally. It's a very strong defense. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you. You didn't realize what you were making till now? <laughs> well, surprise! I'm glad you like it. I had fun making it. 
All right, I'll be posting that over to uh, Twitter a little later today. You should make a pit crew? Hmm. I guess I could try. I've never made a pit crew before, though, so I'm not sure how well it would work out. <sighs> Although I should, I guess, probably add a little bit of highlight work to, uh, to Skylar herself in this pick. Let's also do that first. Also, to be honest, I don't know if anyone would even really want to use uh, a pit crew that I made. It would be very haphazard and, like, uh, sloppily put together, I feel like. Who knows though, maybe uh maybe I'll change my mind. Maybe I'll be convinced otherwise. <laughs> Sorry, I, I I get really into butt rock sometimes, so sue me. Eurobutt? Hell yeah, Eurobutt. Bow, 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 bow,
Your commitment's what I'm thinking of. You wouldn't get this from any other guy. I just want to tell you how I'm feeling. Gotta make you understand. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and desert you. Never gonna make you cry. Never gonna say goodbye. Never gonna tell a lie and hurt you. Never for so long. I've been making, but you're too shy to say it. Going on. Oh. We will talk with HR about the possibility of of go possibility. Then six business days, we will email you our conclusion. Thank you for your suggestion. I am confused. Understand, never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna run around and desert you, make you cry, never gonna say goodbye, never gonna tell a lie and hurt you. Never gonna let you down, never gonna run around and desert you, never gonna make you cry, never gonna say goodbye, never gonna tell a lie and desert you. How's it going? Hope you're having a good one today. I know I am. Even if I am having trouble coming up with what to wear, that's honestly such a little thing. I feel fine about it. Who's the simp fingers? <laughs> wow, I've never heard it described that way before. What a devastating thing to call someone. <laughs> uh, this is this is my friend Skylar. Uh, she is a roly poly VTuber, like the you know the little pill bugs. She is a rubber ducky roly poly specifically. Oh, thank you. I do my best to make things cute. Oh. 
What to wear with hair color, dress up as Sailor Jupiter? I mean... I wouldn't object to it, I guess. Uh, she's probably the second most... Uh, transgenderly relatable character. Uh, but... At the same time... I don't think she really fits either theme of uh, K-pop or the theme of fairy core. Don't you forget about me? Don't, 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 don't you forget about me? Forget about me. Oh, hey, happy. All right, let me give you a little. a great set of pops, I think, but hopefully they, they're good enough for uh, yeah. 45,000 points until VIP, but the smooch is tempting. Which one is the smooch again? Some of those are a little better, I think. Just getting up? Hey, no problem. Take your time. There's no rush. Stretch. <laughs> 
das Essen. A smooch existed? I mean, I smooch people at the end of every stream, but if you really want to smooch, let me just, uh... Mm -hmm. There you go. Is, is that better? <laughs> Cute. It makes the day easier, so yes. Aww. Cute. Stretch. <sighs> I think that does it. I think that's a finished pick. Gonna save it. Gonna export it. And then we're gonna figure out what we're doing next. What do you think we should do next, chat? Should we play... Hmm. Uh, should we play one of the newer games we've got? Should we do some Tina? Do we want to do some Homebrew? Do you want to do... Some much older game or some all new game. What would y'all like to do? Oh. Just remembered something I need to do. I'll be right back.
am back with snack. Homebrew? You want some homebrew? All right, we can do some homebrew and we can do some old game. <sighs> oh, gonna need to put on a playlist too. Oopsies. Alright. <laughs> It's really only you and you can feel the pain. It's what you did. Look how far I can. With the thousand lines and I got disguise it right between the eyes. It right between the eyes. All right, so gonna open up my homebrew making machine. Let's see what we can figure out for today, huh? I also have a snack. I have cheese cubes. I have hummus. I have sweet potato chip. Uh, sweet potato tortilla chips. Feeling pretty good. You're about to cry and scream in excitement. What what happened? You found cornbread chips? Nice. Oh. Well, welcome, welcome, Dragon Soul. It's lovely to meet you. My name's Beatrix Bunny. I'm a taxidermy jackalope brought to life by the power of love and slightly mad science. I do a combination of a variety of things, including roguelikes, tabletop RPG stuff, and uh, some digital artwork. Yes, yes I did. Uh, Thank you for reminding me of that, Morin. I need to post a bunch more of my builds on Discord and Twitter. Thank you. Hey, no problem. That's fine. You just worked out a part of a song by ear that used to give you so many problems to hear. Ooh, congrats. That's really exciting. I didn't realize we had a professional musician in chat. I'm glad to see it. So, I know that there's going to be another better D&D &D homebrew thing that I can make this stuff in. And I would like to try and find it. I think it's the foundry. It's just going to be a matter of actually trying to uh, 
freaking uh... hmm? was this not where it is? Cam Gotta at me with them. With with what part? I know that there is. Does anyone remember where all of the homebrew keeps getting made? In D and D stuff, I know that there is a special site you can go to that doesn't have the restrictions. Oh, yes, I will definitely do that. Uh, it's Miso, right? All right, I will make sure to do that then. I was pretty pleased by how their build came out, too. I think this is the first time I've ever done a, uh, a pure just bard build. Because, like, the capstone to bard is really shitty for having invested 20 levels into the class. But, you know... I mean, just up and down, Rain is a bard. <laughs> and don't get me wrong, I love bards. I am a bard. But at the same time, I recognize when bards are being mistreated. Uh, you might have thought that, Morin, but, like, then I would have had to dip more into intelligence than I already did. And as is, uh, I would not actually recommend playing, uh, playing Rain directly as written, uh, because, well, let me tell you one thing, you're gonna be rocking a very low AC. <laughs> also... Hello, British golf ball. Hello, hello, hello. It's lovely to meet you. What's up? What about Bard Source? Oh yeah, but like, thematically, what uh, Sorceress Origin would have actually fit for Rain? There's not really a good, you've got the music in you kind of sorcery, you know? Heck. We had trouble pretty much from the beginning trying to figure out a uh, a race because when we we we'd done uh, Ida before, but when we did Ida, I picked a race based off of needing to have her be able to remove parts of her body without hurting herself, and Rain does not do that, so I did not need those restrictions. <laughs> Uh, hair in my mouth. Nothing much. What about me? I'm doing pretty well. Uh, we just finished up working on a... Uh, we just finished up working on a drawing that we'd been working on for a little while. In fact, I should be able to pop that back on real quick. Boop. That one. Uh, but yeah, we we just finished that up. And now we're switching gears for a little bit to try working on some D&D homebrew. I think we ended up using, uh... I think we ended up using Wood Elf for them. Can I ask real quick? Oh wait, 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 I think I remember it now. 
the foundry. Wait. No, that's not it either. Hmm. Gonna have to figure this out. Did it take a long time to make rig my VTuber? Um, well, the first one that I did, I think, was, uh, it took me over a month to put together. Because I... Oh, I did not know what I was doing, so I had to follow a bunch of tutorials. So the second version went much better. But for the very first iteration, I'd say it took probably around a month minimum. Probably a little more. Why do you ask? You interested in trying to start up one yourself? Oh. Thank you for joining the Fluffle British Golf Ball. I hope you enjoy it here. You got all the achievements in Yol 2 yesterday. You did tell me about that, but I am still very proud of you for it. Yeah, well, until I remember what the site is, we can just get started here. So recently, I've been thinking a lot about uh, one of my favorite non-anime media properties to come out of Japan, Kamen Rider. And I was thinking, wow, it would be really freaking cool if you could make a Kamen Rider in D&D. &D. And like, you kind of can? Because, like, you could build a armorer, artificer, and that would get you a lot of the way there. Or you could do a monk that was a uh, an astral self monk and flavor it as, like, you're turning, you're creating the armor around you. And both of those are okay. But what what about trying to build it like so thematically it's right where it needs to be from the get-go? Like it is the essence of the masked heroic vigilante. Someone who is able to do cool martial arts and stuff in full body armor. And that got me thinking, well, what class could do that pretty well? And I was thinking, what about, what about Paladin? It feels weird saying it, but what about Paladin? That might actually kind of work. So that's what I'm going to try and do today. At least start a D&D homebrew inspired by Common Rider 
for the Paladin class. So to start off, I think I want to figure out specifically what is it that I want out of out of this subclass that will make it feel cool and special and unique and all that. So I think the three major things I want to focus on are being able to empower your basic melee skills beyond just the standard smite and improved divine smite options. I want you to be able to get a little flavorful with that while still making unarmed fighting a valid strategy for a paladin. Two, I think we could do something with the rider part of the common rider. Paladins are one of the few classes that can naturally get uh, find steed and find greater steed. So we can do something with uh, mounted combat that could be pretty interesting. And the third thing is we need to have a finishing move. Something that we can really pour our all into. Hit super duper hard. And have it be something that you better finish with it. Because if you don't, you're going to be in trouble. So like a mix between paladin and a monk? Yes. Except... The main reason why I'm not doing this as just a straight up and down monk is because a big part of Common Rider as a whole is that icon those iconic suits of armor. Like the super stylish, always unique, fashionable suits of masked vigilante hero armor. It needs to have armor, and a monk, by definition, loses access to all of their cool monk class features. I don't know why so many of these aren't loading. But loses access to all of their cool class features the moment they put on armor. So we can't let- we can't do that that way, unfortunately. Uh, hey B, guess what day it is today? Uh, I don't know. What day is it today, Darth? <laughs> flop a Friday? What's a flop a Friday? Your birthday? <gasps> oh my gosh! Happy birthday, Darth! Congrats, 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 congrats! Hold, hold on, let me, uh, pause that real quick. So I can say... <coughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear dog. Happy birthday to you. There you go. I hope you have a very happy birthday. Oh, and I guess on a similar note, motionless that also means today is flat buck friday so that's pretty cool
You're welcome. Paladin subclass for quick hitting combat. Fighters mounted combat. And all the stylish heroes. You'd expect from a common rider. I think I'll leave it there for now. Okay, so... And cast spells, yes. Charisma. We're gonna be working on the additional spell list. Half level. Those all spells. Okay, so let's take a look at the Paladin spell list and figure out... ...what they do and don't already have. And from there, what we can add that will allow us to focus on what we want to focus on. By the way, I'll be RB. I need to go put away the hummus that I was just snacking on. Down to the 
Alright, so... All of them get two spells at... Uh, of... At first, second, third, fourth, and fifth level. So let's see what we could get at those levels. And we want to be able to focus again on keeping this character light, mobile, hitting hard, and hitting flashily, and fancily. I, I'm not good at words sometimes. And they, it can be from the paladin list already, too, but it can also just be others that they'll always have prepared. Let's see. It's transmutation. Okay, let's start with some transmutation spells. Transmutation. You know what? Let's get some uh, abjuration too. Mm, maybe enchantment. Oh, uh, also filter. So it only is those five levels. I like a Zephyr strike for one of them. Allows you to avoid opportunity attacks for up to a minute, and you can give yourself advantage on a weapon attack that also deals extra force damage. So let's have that be one of the spells. And because this is going to be a spell list that will include non-player handbook spells, that does mean that I won't be able to officially publish it on D&D Beyond because there are a bunch of narcs who care about rules and shit. But uh, we'll work around that. We could also get Jump or Long Strider too, though. Thematically, I do like Jump. Because if there's one thing that common riders tend to be very good at, it's jumping like a dozen feet in the air and then landing on someone with a flying kick. And that's pretty freaking cool, if you ask me. Hmm. Oh, 
Hey, Deba, how's it going? Space Jam DVD. I don't know what that meme is, to be honest. But, uh, how's it going? Hope you're having a good one. <laughs> 3 a.m. brain? It's 3 a.m. over there? Oh, that's rough. No that I've been one of these spells is definitely going to be haste, but I should really try and figure out the second level spells first. Heroism, that's... yeah, that's already on their list. So loud, wish that we could leave this crowd, baby. It's better this way, want to know where the time to stay. Good together. Let's go with Kinetic Jaunt. That's kind of a good one. Though it's easy to protect, I know you're not a fool. Huh? <laughs> Alright. Hey, hey, Deba. Hey, Deba. What's your fucking pronouns? What's your fucking pronouns, Deba? For now, at least, then, since it seems like Deba is very sleepy. Deba? Deba? I want you to know that you, Deba, yes, you, you are a very, very good little Deba Nyan. It's true. You are. Mm hmm. And nothing can change that. She's never danced before. Mm. Hair. Get out of face, please, hair.
Ah. The kids never touched before. She's a maniac, maniac on for sure. And dancing like she's never danced before. Hmm. Hmm. Well, wherever you may be, you sleepy little Devanyan, I hope you're having a good one. Good in spirit. Mm -hmm. Hmm, I'm not sure what the other one should be. Maybe I'm not totally sure. Might have to be something. Oh, you know, actually, what about uh, water? Okay, yeah. Oh, hey, Sir Ottoman. Have a great stream. I'll try my best. I hope you have a great rest of your day wherever you end up going with that. And thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. <sighs> okay, let's see. We're on a third level. Put 
Kind of like Beacon of Hope. Let's go with that. Going to scream and cry even more, you just did a, compl a complex rhythm by mouse without needing to use a piano to put it in. Oh my gosh. That is very, um, that is very, very powerful. Good job. I'm very proud of you. Okay. Got third level. Let's take a look at fourth now. It only took all of your brain cells to do, so you need... Yeah, take a break! Take a break, okay? Take a break. Hey! Hey, Skylar! How's it going? Let me give you a shout-out. Ah, some Minecraft I hope classic Skylar. A fun day. I, today, am currently working on trying not to be so tired. <laughs> I have not slept. Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. Hey, Skylar. Do you want to see something special that we were working on? Would, would you like to see something special for you? Hmm? Hmm? Okay. Ta-da! What do you think? What do you think? Gonna be posting it later today over on Twitter and Discord. You like it? <laughs> also, welcome, welcome, raiders. Hi, my name's Beatrix Funny. I'm a taxidermy jackalope brought to life by the power of love and slightly mad science. I do variety streams with a focus towards roguelikes, RPGs, and digital artwork. Today, as per usual, I am joined by my co-host, channel mascot, Francisco. Say hi to everyone, Francisco. And uh, there is also Chat Moth. I don't know what Chat Moth's deal is. They kind of just ominously repeat things sometimes and steal all my food. But uh, they don't seem to be too actively malicious. So there's that, I guess. <laughs> anyway. You can't access your own Twitch chat in OBS. Oof, that is rough. Hope you figure that out soon. And uh, right now, we are working on... Let's see. Yeah, there we go. We are working on some D&D homebrew for a little bit. Don't know how far I'll get with the D&D homebrew, but we're working on it. Also... Uh, welcome, welcome, new folks. Uh, it's nice to meet you, Demon Rosetta. Ooh, we've got a Rosuru, a Rosuwu, and a Rosetta. That's gotta mean something special, right? 
Oh, thank you very much for joining the fluffle. I hope you enjoy it here. It's because we arose your pants off. What does that mean? If you're not too familiar with D&D stuff, sadly, only know the cool RPG stuff you taught me in RPG nights. Ah, no problem. You probably won't need too much knowledge, uh, too much prior knowledge to really enjoy any of this stuff. I hope, anyway. My car. Mm -hmm. I'm glad to see that Rosa Wu and Demon Rosetta already are getting along. That makes me very happy. <laughs> Right now, I'm designing a subclass for Paladin based off of Common Rider. So it's a focus on high mobility martial arts as a paladin with no monk involved and big flashy finishing moves <laughs> should be terrified it means the raz uprise is on the go all right you're welcome to try smile <laughs> Do 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 you like my car? Do 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 Gas 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 Alright, I accept this. Don't be your hero Gonna step on the bed tonight, oh, I'm all right. Hello, Wolf. It's nice to meet ya. What's up? We are your lord. Well, I mean, to be fair, Rosu, because you are a uh, subscriber, you are kind of, in fact, my lord. It's true. All right, I can dance. Boo do 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 do. 
ダメダメダメよダメダメね次ぎで次ぎ次ぎで Oh, thank you for the hydrate. You just reminded yourself that you need to get some water seeing that. Good, 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 good. I'm glad to have helped. Finagured out, you weren't signed into your Twitch in OBS. Ah, that would do it. Ah, excuse me. So how's everyone doing today? I hope you're having a wonderful time. If you're not signed into Twitch and all, how did you stream on Twitch? That's a good question. Also, wow, uh, Rosaru, uh, for some reason, Boon Dance feels incredibly threatening. Also, if I ever get someone who's a more competent animator than I am, I would love to have something similar to that in terms of the movement for the uh, Francisco's dancing emote. I think that one would be really cool. Freedom of movement. Uh, yeah, what was the other fourth level one? Elemental Bane. That's the one I wanted. Do, 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 do. Oh, no, not Conjure. Minor element, Elementals. Uh, ele elemental Bane. Do, 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 do. Okay, and then we need fifth level spells. Do, 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 do. The dance of the Raz army. 
I don't think I've seen Roz before. I'll have to check him out. I really like Steel Wind Strike. I think it's a good anime esque spell. You get to choose up to five creatures within 30 feet of you, make a melee spell attack against each. Each one takes 60, 10, force damage on a hit. And then as like a little cherry, you can teleport to an unoccupied space you can see within five feet of uh, one of the ones you targeted. Boo -doo -doo -doo. Mm, flame strike might work. I do really like destructive wave. Maybe we have that then. So those are the spells that they get. Some of them are in addition. Others are just uh, kind of passively. Maybe we swap Bane out though for uh, Long Strider. You get some nice mobility buffs from level one with Jump and Long Strider. Is there anything else at level two? Then we could swap out for that. Uh, for something maybe. Okay, so we need class features at level 3. We need... Uh, let me see. Class features come at 3, 7, 15, and 20. And so, yeah, paladins are one of the ones that get uh, level 20 class features, uh, subclass features, and those class features are always really good. Let's start with the simplest stuff, though. Uh, level 3. So we need to make sure that they're set up to be able to fight 
good with uh, unarmed stuff. So let's make sure they've got that. Fists of Righteousness. I think that sounds appropriate. Dropped ah, my controller. You get back up there. Ah, it dropped something else that isn't as important. Never played or seen someone play a paladin before in any of your games? Really? Because, like... In my personal opinion, Paladin is one of the, uh, uh, excuse me, Paladin is one of the best classes, like, all around, Paladin get, Paladins get a tremendous variety of stuff, they have the ability to be a strong tank, they have the ability to be a healer, they have the ability to be a, like, nuke-based attacker, they are kind of... Oh, also, they're a fantastic team player because so many of their abilities gives bonuses to other allies within a certain distance to them. So, like, paladins don't have a ton of weaknesses, really. <laughs> they're kind of just good. IMO, anyway. Third level. You have... Your body. To better enable you. Serve the cause of justice. You like rogues so you can backstab your team and be very good at deceiving them into not backstabbing. What do you mean exactly by backstabbing your team, Rosetta? I have some concerns. You gain the... Unarmed. Fighting style. <laughs> I'm starting to see a pattern that might explain why y'all don't get to play D&D very much. <laughs> oh my god. How did you not get kicked out of your game that same session, Rosetta? <laughs> Oh, nope, uh, the... If you did not already possess or a second. To be fair, you two like to do stupid stuff. Because it was an Anything Goes Chaos campaign. Ah. I see. My condolences. <laughs> to your party, not to you. It sounds like you had an excellent time. Or a... different... fighting style. Your... or a different... Paladin fighting style, if you already knew it. 
Okay, so let me look this up real quick because I know there's a whole variety of things. Divine Smite Unarmed Strike. For me, you haven't played a character like that, nor do I act like that. For D&D, I just got bored with combat. That's understandable. There's definitely... If you like, like, just focusing on... RP, there's a lot of a lot better systems you can pick than DD. See. Your unarmed strikes are considered both. are considered melee weapons for the sake of divine smite improved divine smite And any spells that specify targeting a melee weapon that doesn't spell weapon that doesn't possess a specified cost. So there's some spells, like for instance, uh, one of the ones that we added in here, the Steel Wind Strike, which specifies that it has to be a melee weapon worth at least one silver. So, with this class feature, you couldn't use your unarmed strikes for Steel Wind Strike. Although, maybe I... You know what? Actually, fuck it. Let's, let's change that. Melee weapon. Let target a melee weapon. Any spell that's that uh, specifically targets a melee... Uh, blah, blah, blah. You may ignore the material... Uh, you may ignore... the weapon cost requirement of any spell that spe specifically targets a melee weapon so you may ignore the weapon cost requirement of any spell that specifically targets a melee weapon. So yes, 
you can use now a uh, Steel Wind Strike and spells like that on your fists. And I think that's pretty cool already. <laughs> Sample given. You may cast Steel Wind Strike using your unarmed strikes as the material component. Okay, I think that's a good starting point, but that's this is also the level 3 class feature, so we have to give them a little more than just that, you know? Oh, yeah. Specifically, we need to... So this is like the foundation thing. Everything that we're going to be doing with this build... I don't think give it a head pat, Stama! Sorry about uh, being a little late in getting back to you, but I am still interested, and uh, I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, so I think that we need to have Fists of Righteousness first and foremost, because a lot of Common Rider is unarmed combat, and I want to make sure that you can do unarmed combat just as easily as you could do... Uh, like, weapon-based combat. In fact, if anything, we're going to be encouraging it with how we're building this. How's it going, Tama? Additionally, take your time. I was just a little scared that you weren't sure. Mm. So, uh, for those of you who are familiar with D&D, &D, tell me what you think of this idea. What if, as the other feature of the uh, Fists of Righteousness, what if... What if your unarmed strikes were considered light weapons for the sake of uh, being able to use uh, two-weapon fighting? That way we could give... We could give Paladins a reduced version of uh, how Martial Arts lets you, like, make an unarmed attack, then as a bonus action, make another unarmed attack? Or what if we just added that as a thing? Like, specifically, if you make an unarmed attack, you may make another unarmed attack as a bonus action. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm just gonna do the dang thing. When you use the attack action to make an unarmed right because it's not like I'm giving them flurry of blows so I don't think it's that overpowered been customizing an upcoming character oh dish 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 what are you doing what are they like tell me all about them when you use the attack action to make an unarmed strike, you may use your bonus action to make an additional unarmed an additional unarmed strike attack. Too shy to share? Understandable. Take your time. Is it for D and D, or is it for like in general? Make an additional unarmed strike attack. An additional attack. 
using your unarmed Okay, so now that we have this, which is like a foundational, it's for a D&D. Okay. So now that we have Fists of Righteousness, which is absolutely required for like a foundational build with this, since otherwise D&D doesn't, rules as written, allow you to do Divine Smite or Improved Divine Smite or any of that stuff with your fists. Now we've got that taken care of. Now let's look at what you actually get at third level normally, which is going to be a Channel Divinity option. And there are supposed to be two of these as well that we'll need to consider. Mm -hmm. Channel Divinity. Heroic Intervention. I like the idea of a class feature that you can pop basically having it be the spiritual equivalent of saying stop right there you fucking evil doer evil doer why don't you pick on someone your own size and then forcing them to pick on someone their own size that's you It's kind of like Champion's Challenge, I think. In fact, I'm going to copy this, and then we'll work out how to reword it and make it more unique. of like that, yeah. Yeah, I, I like that. <laughs> Because, like, this one is more about uh, forcing nearby enemies to not be able to get far away from you, but that doesn't stop them from fighting other people. What's your opinion on Mr. Freeze? Um, you mean, like, the, the DC Batman character? Um, I mean, I guess it depends on which iteration of the character, because, like, the animated series is going to be different from the live-action movies, is going to be different from the video games, is going to be different from so on and so forth. Um, I would say, in general, I find him pretty interesting. Uh... I find him a compelling character, like a lot of, like a lot of good Batman. Okay, so it's my feeling that the best Batman villains are the characters that are not 
in and of themselves straight up and down villains that they are complicated characters usually characters suffering from some form of mental illness that they're struggling with and they are not inherently bad people but they are they're in a situation where they struggle with themselves because my favorite Batman is the Batman that is not like a crime fighter. He is just a very emotionally and mentally scarred and damaged person just trying to do his best to help other emotionally damaged and scarred people. So my favorite Batman villains are the ones that like complement that concept. And by extension, I think that when written well, Mr. Freeze absolutely falls into that category. Uh, so I, I would say I'm a, I would say I'm a fan of him usually. It's those oh, no go back wrong tab why do you ask Like, we need to switch tracks again. <laughs> Listening to a playlist of character analysis of DC characters. Oh. What do they say about Mr. Freeze? Uh, Oops. I'm glad that cap was on. actually about Norma that's uh, up currently but apparently there were very different versions of it of what in what way Freeze was related to Norma okay who's Norma again it was that was that one of the was one of the iterations of Norma uh, Mr. Freeze's wife or Right, okay. On a failure, they can only target you. 
with attacks or oh it beats me I, I don't follow DC or Marvel for that matter close enough to know stuff like that it can only target you with attacks or Freeze is a dork for making his villain. Yeah, he he really is. I feel like I feel like in the DC universe, or you know, in comics in general, that's such a common thing that it would be more interesting if it was inverted. Like if Freeze if Freeze became a villainous human torch, basically, that would be pretty cool. Or if Enigma, the Riddler, if he ended up just like... What would be the opposite of the Riddler? I guess a guy that just tells people the answers to, to riddles and like, I don't know, does something really violent to him directly. <laughs> Their only riddle is gun. And the solution is more gun. Or if Two-Face actually only had one face, or perhaps... Five, or more than two, at least. That would be pretty wild. What if Catwoman was actually more of a dog person? What if Poison Ivy had a aura around her that killed plants? There's so many possibilities. Funnily enough, there's a villain called Clue Master. So, like, are, is Clue Master and Riddler arch nemeses or something? Because I would, I would love to see. A story arc where Batman is like a tertiary character and it's just about this vicious, no holds barred feud between Clue Master and the Riddler. I would absolutely love that. If they failed game show host. Oh, I remember that guy from um the Batman. Wow, that was a really uncomfortable character to watch on, uh, in the show. But I remember him. I think? No wait, that was a game show contestant. Uh. Also, who is... who is Crazy Quilt, Tibby? They still may harm allied creatures indirectly. Such as through 
area of effect spells. Or if they move and remain inside of the 30 foot radius around you. A silly man who wears a helmet with three different lights and a very rainbowy outfit. That sounds pretty fantastic. Quilting themed Batman villain from one of the more recent animated Batmans. Fascinating. Fascinating. Excuse me. Condiment King? Go on. More than 30 feet away from you. Hmm. Gosh, I, I don't know if I want to now. <laughs> oh dear. He shoots ketchup. That is very good. that successfully damages a allied creature in such a way. If an affected Creature ends its turn more than thirty feet away from you. It can attempt the wisdom. In the comics, they made him. Oh, wait, hold on. He shoots ketchup. I mean, with a name like Condiment King, that was about what I was expecting. 
They made him more serious in the comics and gave him the real human name of Mitchell Mayo. Oh, no wonder he turned to a life of villainy. I would too with a name like that. Squeezes hot sauce packets in your eyes to stun you. Ooh. That's just a dick move. They can attempt the wisdom saving throw again as an action. The effects end. The effects also end if you are incapacitated. Initiative. Okay, so that's one way that you can do it. The other one, I want to be something very movement based. Because a lot of the spells that we're giving. The Oath of the Masked Rider are based on increasing your mobility, whether that be through jumping or running or being unhindered by opportunity attacks or difficult terrain. And of course, you also have mounts that you can give those features to as well. have a really cool idea for a magic running thing? Oh, I'm listening. What you got? Inspired by an alien in Ben 10 five years later. Wait, was Ben 10 five years later like another show? I'm confused by that naming scheme. Oh, okay. Vigorous? No. Vigorous? There we go. Uh, 
seems to me. You use your magic to have two different realities seen, and then, and you run, but like, only the you who has the ideal path lasts after the spell is over, so like, one gets hit, that one doesn't get used. I think I understand. It's certainly an interesting comic. It reminds... It's weird to say this, it reminds me of Nicolas Cage. Because I don't remember what it is, but I remember there was a movie where Nicolas Cage played, like, some sort of psychic. And the way they visualized that was when he needed to find something in a building, they visualized, like, dozens of Nicolas Cages that would go and explore every nook and cranny. And, like, the ones that... Uh, didn't find anything at the end of their path faded away but then the one Nicolas Cage that did find whatever it was he was looking for is the one that he then he gets the information from and it's like ah yes this th that's where you'll find the bomb or whatever it is I, I don't know I, I don't do Nicolas Cage impressions So this one is going to be a little bit like a uh, careless athlete, I think. Kind of. This action. You empower your fighting. Fighting style. Yes. In human. Next ten minutes. Well, it can make more, but your movement speed decreases for every clone that's running around, but you normally get, like, a boost above regular speed or something. Hmm. I could see that as a potentially interesting... I'm not sure if it would be a spell or if it would be a subclass, but it would definitely be an interesting thing to try and build. <laughs> Magic shoes. I mean, it's more than just magic shoes because there's also a level of magic that's only happening up in your brain pan, you know? Attacks 
made an attacks of opportunity made against you are at disadvantage. Hmm. Okay, so let me take a look at the jumping rules again. I always forget jumping rules. Everyone does. So you can jump three plus your strength modifier feet up in the air. So assuming, let, let's assume that this is someone who focused in on their strength mod. That would be eight feet, which isn't bad, but it's kind of low as far as common riders are concerned. I mean, granted, we are also giving them, uh, I mean, Oh, right. Uh, let me just throw those on so I can create this and come back to it in a sec. Like, we are already giving them the uh, jump and long strider spells. I could switch those out for other level spells and just have the effects of jump and long strider kind of bake in. Because let me let me show y'all what I want to be able to work with for this. Uh Is this the right video? I think so. Yeah, th this is about right. <laughs> Alright, so let me show y'all the kinds of kicks I want, or the kinds of jumps that I want to be a thing with this character, okay? This is a good primer on what is a common rider kick. Okay, so the, the first bit is kind of just more intro, but hold on. And yes, this is the highest quality this one comes in. These are the kinds of jump kicks that I want this subclass to be doing. <laughs> Like, it's goofy, it's over the top, it's camp, and it's something I wouldn't have any other way. Does Chun Li do that much jumping? Oh, oh god, that's bright and flashy. Sir, you have a gun in your shoes, I think? Not sure what's up with that, but okay. That guy just has a bomb! <laughs> that's fantastic! <laughs> I 
Hey, Error, how's it going? I'm just showing chat what I want as an inspiration for uh, a subclass we're building. You have a secret? Ooh, what's the secret? What's the secret? Can I know? <sighs> As you know, you're a glitch and a ghost. Oh, oh god. That one got dark. Uh, but you're blindfolded because you have no eyes, but you can see with your mouth. Ooh. I did not know all of that, but that's pretty cool. Thanks for letting me know. Fuck this crab in particular. Either it's echolocation or you're horrified. Fair. So that's that's the kind of mobility I want to have in this uh, in this subclass, and that's the kind of like damage I want to be able to do with those like flying, running, leap, kick things. So, like, the spell, that triples it. Maybe we have it double? When you're using the channeling? That might work. But yeah, that's that's some cool lore error. Thank you for sharing. Next minutes. Your walking speed. Mm. Hmm. This is by ten feet and the distance and height of your jumps is doubled. So maybe we switch out a uh, long strider for something else. Like, um... Zephyr Strike, maybe? Maybe once you are disadvantaged. As long as you end your movement within five feet of um, 
When making an unarmed strike, you let's see. So that means if we doubled the jumping power for a high jump, that would be at most eight feet. That would be 16 feet, which that's pretty good. Oh, oh, Rosaru, of course, I would be more than delighted to give you a little bit of aura, aura. Let me just set the timer for you. All right, there you go, dear. Rosaru, I do so appreciate you, but shouldn't you give yourself a break? You poor dear, you've been working so long now. Why don't you just take a moment to relax? Make yourself feel a little better first. Ara, ara. You certainly deserve it. Ara, ara. You certainly, certainly do. Well then, let's see, where were we? Making an unarmed strike, you can add plus one to the attack and damage rolls. Plus one to it. Making arm strike, you can add plus one to the attack and damage rolls. For every. So hung up over these little things. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not very entertaining if I'm just sitting here and not saying anything to all of you, is it? Uh, 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 I feel so silly. Let's see. Disadvantage as well. This is fine and still relaxing. All good. Uh, 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 uh. I had worried that it wouldn't quite be what you needed. You needed to get into bed soon, so this is nice. Mm. Well, I'm happy to oblige, dear. Let's see. What else can we do here? Maybe we reduce it from 10 minutes, since it's much more powerful. One minute, maybe? For the next minute. You make an unarmed strike. You can add plus one to the attack. Hmm. Hmm. Plus one to the attack and damage rolls. For every. Hmm. The. Not five, maybe ten. Mm. Maybe ten. For every ten feet. 
Sorry, I, I just noticed that the timer is going down pretty quickly, my dears, so I wanted to make sure I gave you a few more ara aras for the road. Hmm. Let's see. For every ten feet. And we're done. For every ten feet, we've moved in. That was a surprise. Oh. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. It's one of my secret. Uh, it's one of my secret talents. Hey, Asarium, how's it going? You're okay, thanks for asking. Just visiting all the streamers you follow for the day as usual. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. That's quite a nice surprise. We're, uh, well, we finished working on a drawing earlier. Now we're doing a little bit of, oh, thank you for the head pat. Now we're doing a little bit of some D&D homebrew before uh, later on, I don't know, we're gonna play something. Thank you. Oh. Oh my gosh, thank you for the bit. Why why didn't smack cam go off? There we go. Hmm. Strange. But thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you for the baby. Let's see, when making an unarmed strike. You can... Often speed increases by 10 feet. Making an unarmed strike. After moving at least ten after moving or jumping at least ten feet. Yeah, because long jump. Cover a number of feet up to your strength score. Half that if it's a standing long jump. But even half it would be back up to full because one of the things is the distance gets doubled. So yeah, I think that sounds alright. Or jumping at least 10 feet. After moving in a straight Line, jumping at least 10 feet. You can Boo, 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 boo,
against you for leaving creatures rolls for that, I wonder. No, it doesn't. Hmm. Alright. We'll give him a picture. It's... There's other things that can provoke attacks of opportunity, so I wanted to specify. I was maybe considering. So it's a d6 damage for every 10 feet you fall. What if it was an extra d6 of damage for every uh, 10 feet you move or jump before hitting? It's like, if I'm comparing this to the Charger feet, then the Charger feet can do a plus five bonus to damage, which um, doesn't feel huge. You can... At an additional and an additional one D six one D six damage of the X type. For every ten feet travel, turn prior to making making an armor a strike in an attack with. Or unarmed strike, moving, jumping towards 10 feet, and an additional d6 damage. <laughs> 10 feet travel this turn prior to making it the Does that make sense, chat? 
Because I want to incentivize people doing, like, flying leaps and heroically sprinting around to punch the shit out of people. I think that would be fun. And it also kind of gives them, similar to the Vow of Protection, a better ability to fight, like, a group of people at once. Plus, since you can do standing jumps, you can still add extra damage even if you aren't able to normally move how you would as much as you would like. Oh, I do worry. Instead of dealing damage with your attack, you push it. Attack you, push the target five feet for every ten foot interval. You move. I'm not sure still. I'm not against how it is, but I feel like it needs more working. More work, and I feel like the channel divinities kind of work against each other a little bit, which obviously I want to avoid. also have to consider, uh, since this is just based off of movement, that if you do get on a mount, this would become potentially very powerful. It's like, let's, let's look even at a standard find steed war horse. Yeah, that's got a 60 foot speed. So that would mean that, potentially, you could add a 6d6 extra damage to the attack. Which again, I'm personally not against. However, I have to recognize 
that might not be the case for a lot of people. Hmm. I'll have to come back to this one, I think. But it's a starting point, at least. What do y'all think, chat? I'm not super satisfied yet, so I'll come back to it. Pretty common at 7th level, it looks like, to have it be an aura-based thing. Or at least a magical range-based thing. I'm gonna take a break from working on this for now, okay, chat? I'm gonna... I do want to keep working on it, but I need to stop and think and probably come back once I've been able to talk it out with other people that also know how to do D&D &D writing stuff, okay? Okay. Yeah. Unlike the Masked Rider, uh, we are not in a rush. Alright. Uh, anyway. All right, for now, let's close out of that and let's start playing something, huh? Because I don't know about y'all, but I am in the mood to play some more Borderlands, border bands. Let's do a little bit of this then. And then if we still have time after, maybe we try a new game, too. It's going to take a little bit for it to load up, though. It always does, so. All right, take a second. Oh, small Tina. Why are you so dang small, huh? How did you get so small? 
Will we ever find out? Maybe, maybe not. Let's reset the... Also, I never set the category. Whoops. Yeah, that's fine. Ever figure out how multiplayer works? Um, kind of, I guess. To be honest, if I did, I have totally forgotten. <laughs> I am not I am not clever when it comes to this thing. I'm not clever when it comes to socializing IRL or in video games, even more so though in video games. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, I I should have upgrade uh, up not upgrade updated by now. Might take a second, but it should be there. Uh, no, not quite. Uh, hmm. It, huh.
okay, okay. I got the I got the microphone back on. What the heck is going on here? Um, okay, if I do that, you can hear it through my computer, but you can't hear it. Okay. Okay, that's very weird. Okay, okay. I fixed it. I have no idea what happened there. That was really freaking weird. Okay, well, let's try this again and see if that happens again. And then, uh, hopefully it doesn't. And I never have to think about this issue again. Let's find out. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, so far so good. You can hear the intro. Let's start. What? What a weird little glitch. Hope that doesn't happen again. Fingers crossed. Okay, hopefully this works. I hope. We'll freaking see, I guess. Like, that's the weird thing. No, uh, it didn't at all. Okay, I can hear. Oops. There we go. Like, everything was exactly the same from before I got to this game section. I doubt it would be something like the area that we're in, but uh, if anything happens with the audio on y'all's end, please let me know. So I can try and uh, diagnose this if need be. Okay, we still got sound in-game it seems. Weird. Okay, where were we going now? Okay, well. And try and meet frail old woman, whoever she is. I imagine she's not frail. Uh, probably evil. Probably gonna try and kill me. We'll see, I guess. I guess so. Seems very rude of it, if you ask me, but it didn't ask me, so... Where are we headed? Oh, 
over there. Okay. Oh boy. All right. Well. The Jags. Uh oh. What do you see? I don't need to go this way, do I? No, if anything, I want to go the exact opposite. Oh, that's right. That's how I came into that area. I don't know who I am or what I am doing or where I'm going. All I know is I must kill. Uh, which way? This way. Okay. Oh. Oh boy. Box steps. Nice mid-air kill. Oh my gosh. Sorry dude, I didn't see you there. My bad. Jeez Louise. Ammo? Nope. Oh. Yeah, we got another one. Yeah, that's not going to be a good fight for that. I beat you with stick! Get out of the way, Kino! I hope y'all enjoy Tiny Tina, too. As heck knows I do.
Yeah, I can survive that. Uh-oh. Something spawned. Oh. Goddamn giant crabs. Ah, oh, this guy. It's just gonna wait there for me. Get out! Get out of there, you little jerk. Okay. Carrying on. Oh. We got humans. Okay, we're still good. We're still walking. Okay, we're still doing all right. Oh. The little crabs I like, they can stay. Hello! Oh. Ah, dang it. Speaking in tongues again. Nathan it. Oh wait, uh, before I do this, I forgot. I saw a, um, a luck die over here. How you doing? You're still doing good, I hope, Tabby? I think it was, was it over here or might have been a little further back. I know I saw one on the way in here, though. There it is. I think I can get to it from here. There we go. Uh, yeah. Ooh. It always ends like this? Hello? I mean, I I definitely want to find out about this. Time to look it up. Ba -ba -ba. Here in Tiny Tina's. So, shield. Undead pact. What does this do? 
Always poison when depleted, send out three skulls that seek out and damage nearby enemies. Yeah, sure. That sounds fun. It's the last poem you'll be posting for a little bit because you're going to be in Italy for two weeks. Ooh. Awesome. What are you going to be doing in Italy? It sounds very exciting. I've never been before. Though my uh, mama bun and papa dear have. You little coward. I blame yeah. you for trying. Oh my god. Looking at stuff? What kind of stuff? What you looking at? Is there anything over here before I go meet the evil lady? Aha! There certainly is! gonna see the Colosseum, the Vatican City, and the Basilica. Oh, gosh. I am so jealous. That sounds awesome. There's gonna be so much really beautiful artwork to see. Nice. Make sure you take a lot of pictures, okay? Hi, evil old lady. Yep, unkillable. Looks comfy. Now bring it back. Obviously. Stupid. Now, you're gonna walk my child around and help him do his business. And if you do it wrong, you will suffer. Okay. Auntie H has found a new Oh boy. What is oh Oh. oh, you are a handsome boy. Haven't you ever seen an enchanted collar before? No. Oh, thank you. I'm worried that if I punch him, he'll... Oh! <laughs> okay. Oh, wow, you were really booking it, but okay. Wrong 
Understandable. He didn't go. He does this sometimes. Just follow him. Find the right spot soon enough. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, you did it! Good job. Good job. Pick it up. Of course. Yeah, I got it. Oh, hey! He gets happy bunny ball. He just loves swallowing that thing. Grab it. Uh the what? Oh. Wait, adventurer. I have passed through my master's anus one hundred and forty-seven times. Please. I love you too, little Pookie. He's just a little guy. He's just a dumb little guy. <laughs> oh, I, I, I love watching his walk cycle. Just how he goes. Oh, that's right. I forgot that was something I can do now. What? Oh. Okay, that was weird. Pookie, where are you right now? Oh, little Pookie! Fuck you, Terrence. Uh oh. Hey, oh. I don't even know what I killed. I'll take it, though. Why, should I have even considered it? I mean, it is just a, it is just a ball. Anyone else? Good pookie. Hello, hello little friends. more or I'm a little confused here there's still someone up here yeah well let's double check I guess oh yeah there is Dying, those 
crab park dude said something about Pookie being like a legend? What was that about? If you'd read the tie-in novel, you'd understand. Neil Valentine, I did. What? When? In the last point three nanoseconds. Oh. Well, how was it? Surprisingly moving. I like Pookie. Oh. Hmm? Oh, fight off Pookie. Oh no! I don't want to fight Pookie! Pookie, no! No Pookie! I can't reach it. There we go. all gone Go sneak peeks now, okay, boy? Now you take that collar back where you found it, you butt sniffing troglodyte. Okay. There you go. Hmm. Oh, that's right, I've got the thingy too. Um, what is this one like? Let's find out. It's a pistol. Pookie's true toy. Critical hit, ricochet one bullet. No? Doesn't seem like much. Mm -hmm. That is a potential lot of damage, though. Maybe I could use that for... Oh, that's very low accuracy, though. I really wish I could figure out how to get to Zosef. Oh, maybe I can... Maybe I can find that. You're currently fighting for the oppressed goblins? Nice! I'm proud of you. How do you get to Zosef? Zosef. Tiny Tina. How to reach the island with Zosef? Yes, can I have that please? How do, how do I do that? Oh, there's a portal? Uh, let's see. Yeah. 
let's see. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Oh, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that actually now rather than continue the main quest. Or wait, maybe I should. Let's see, is the other quest that I've got that's in this area, isn't it? What is that? Not totally sure. Me, me, me. Oh, also, I should feed Totoro. I will BRB chat. Ah, sorry. I'm back. <sighs> oh. Hey, Velateer. Thanks for swinging by. Hope you have a good one. Let's see if I can remember how to get to this dang place, though. Uh, might actually have been easier or quicker if I will be back. Oh yeah, no rush. <laughs> Just saying thanks and hi for swinging by. What's been my favorite spell type? Uh, I don't know about spell type per se. I've always been a fan of lifesteal, but that's not like unique to this or anything. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, what? I was hoping that would just drop me off. Uh, I was hoping that would just drop me off. Cool. I was hoping that it would just drop me off at the other overworld. Is this? There we go. Okay, we're getting... There we go. It's either the bird, the ward, or the ground quake. Hmm. I think it was based off of this one. Let's head there first. And there should be another portal nearby here. to the left from there down the hill and to the right okay down the hill to the right there it is okay that one was giving me so much trouble before. I just... Oh, okay, that's a walkthrough one. Hey. Hello? Benson! Astra! Come out of there this instant! I know you're both inside! Yo, I need some competent help! Yeah? My fool apprentices have locked me out of my home. I will need your assistance. Come this way. Okay, which way? No doubt they are rifling through my notes and tomes looking for dark magics. You must get inside before they unleash something beyond their understanding. Oh. Huh. Okay. <laughs> Uh-oh. As I feared, portal magic is incompatible with necromantic... I'm a tiny little person. So, yeah, there it is. Okay. 
Are there any of uh, the treasures in here? I wonder. None that I can see. Hey, you. Oi, giant idiot! Open the door! Can Castor attack me? He's gone mad! He's barricaded himself in the basement, performing the sacrament of Bard! That doesn't sound good. Sacrament of Bard? Fool apprentices! Castor must be stopped! Ransom, put your wretched, broken body to some use for once! Master, I will try. Wow. Oh. Okay. Yep. Oh, you're, you're only gonna do halfway? Fine, jeez. Guess I gotta do all the work here. Oh, hello. doing before. Hmm. Eh. And this one? What's this? I already know it. Oh, that might be some more extra cash. That's always good. Well, that wasn't what I was hoping would happen, but maybe we can still make this work. Yeah. There we go. Oh, there I am. Uh oh <laughs> Well. That could have gone better for him. Fool apprentice! The sacrament of Bard is just a minor necromantic spell that turns you into a skeleton! You're less powerful than ever! Oh no! <laughs> Oh boy, okay. This is a fun idea for a fight. <laughs> what? I can't even hit him with in his head? And he heals. What did I miss there? No heal. Hey, Kino? Kino? Hey, Kino? Thank you. No! Dang it. Out. Not dead. Just a whole lot angrier. 
Yeah! Dino! <laughs> Thank you! Wow, that went... Honestly, kind of surprisingly well! Huh! I was not expecting that... ...to be a first t try, but I'll take it. a fun boss fight, though. Alright, well. Time to re in myself. sweeping up the basement. There are skeleton all over it. Yes, master. And you'll be doing it as a skate. Oh no. I like that it's very clearly just teleporting him away and teleporting something else into place. Okay, well, let's see what we got out off of that. They're all a tray of cakes next to Dev? Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, have a good one with that, Blenson. I'm out. Actually, wait, I, I don't need to do this since I'm going back to the overworld anyway. I'm probably going to be going a little later tonight, just as a heads up, because I did kind of lose a fair bit of time there because of making some mistakes and having some audio issues, so just a heads up. Can't figure out how to open that gateway, right? Fearsome dragon returns, eh? 
Maybe. I'm certainly in the market for a wee bit of violence. Not until it served its purpose. Where's that accessory? There we go. <sighs> okay, so we are here. We need to get here. If there are any closer warp points we might be able to take. Oh, whoops. Oh, that wasn't what I wanted. <laughs> Damn it. Dumb eat. Dumb eat. I have dumb deet. <sighs> well, take a little extra time now. Totoro still hasn't left to have dinner yet. He's been catnapping, curled up on the floor in here. He is very cute. He is very cute when he is not violent. Not a big fan of the violent. So I need to figure out how to get there now. God, these maps are so confusing. I ain't got no clue what I'm looking at, really. Uh, it's like maybe if I can get over here first. I don't know how to get that one. I need to somehow get him in from above, I guess. But I certainly can't jump there. Well, let's just try and run, actually. What if we just ran? You know? Oh. Dust in the crops again? See for effort. See out and dance. Hooligan of jealousy. Yeah. So then it looks like between brother Searle's gone and got himself promoted. Oh yeah, he's big time now. Got Wait a second. Me. I didn't hear anything. Did I- did anything get thrown? Don't tell me that one got broke. Hmm. 
Did anything get thrown? Am I going to have to figure out what's up with that tail? What? Oh, what? How can you, how can people not hear that? Hmm. That's strange. It's a whole new can of confusing worms. Yeah, it's quiet here. Um... The sound's there? Really? You can hear that? I can't. I, I thought there would be a tab volume. But it says that it's... Uh, let me try relaunching. Sorry about all of these uh, hiccups today. You're getting the full scuffed experience, I guess. All right, let's see if it prob you know it probably broke when everything else randomly lost volume. Yeah, that works now. Okay. Weird. Okay. Yep, there we go. He's in everything, but he's not so great. And gullible as all get out, let me tell you. I'll bet you bucks to barnacles he lets in some fake pirates any day now. Nope. nope, still running. Not gonna fight you. Just running. What obelisk? What obelisk? I I hear you saying that. I do not see anything that that would apply to. Oh, hey, hello, ma'am. Howard ran away. <laughs> Something up here? Feels like there could have been. I don't see nothing, though. Hmm. Whatever. What's that going? Okay. Now from here, next step is getting here. That is a poetry page, baby. Just keep running, just keep running, just keep running, running, running. Hello, goodbye. Ow. Wait, am I going the wrong way again? I totally am, aren't I? <sighs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe not. Go this way. I go to the left. This should still be the right track. Yes. Yes, it is. God, I have such dog shit direction. Is one of the many senses I am impaired in. <laughs> yeah, I might as well reload everything while I'm waiting. I mean, running.
Y'all are still following? Jeez Louise. Okay. Now up. This may seem excessive, but I really do have just that bad of a sense of direction. So I want to meet, be extra, super duper sure. I guess at this point I didn't really need that one though, since it's more or less a straight, straight shot. And we're here. Could I have gotten here sooner? Almost certainly. Hello. You're just in time, my dear Lachance. Wind of my heart sail <gasps> has been captured. Oh no! Thieving pirate lord, Long Bronze Gilbert. I aim to run him through with a rusty cutlass, but alas, where's the most potent protection? The chances plot armor. After Gilbert sweet talked his way onto our boat last night, he stole the chance away and vanished. Must have been using that sea sorcery that's so popular here on the island. Go talk with the local witch doctor. We'll have to fight fire with fire. All right. Is there some way I can jump up here though to totally no nab that chest? magic devilry the witch doctor's an old friend her magics helped me out of many a sea pickle oh which is like a sea cucumber oh. but even brinier graphics game okay okay we're still good okay i'm not sure how to get up here yet hmm well I'm sure if we keep wandering around, we'll figure some... Ooh. Ooh. What's the point of this? Nothing. Okay, well. Is there... Can I get back out? Or have I trapped myself? With my curiosity. Oh. Oh, 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 okay, gotta be careful. Ooh, sheesh. Alright, uh. Hmm. Well, this is pretty quick. Safe shot! Where's that witch doctor? Hello? Nothing here but a loot die. That's not bad. Hmm. Where are they, though? Oh, hello? Oh no, she's hot. That be she, but she be asleep. Or in a trance. Or a sleep trance. Find a way to wake her from her 
which he slumbers. Get up. Well, blow me down. That tribe's be deeper <laughs> than a sunken semiotation. But have no fear. There's a cannon not far that you might commandeer. Shoot a course. Well, oh. cannon. Uh. I would love to, thank you. Oh, very quaint, don't you agree, me lordy? I do. You have an alarm. Get me something louder. Oh, it's a sorry shot. The lordy wants it louder. Bring her down below and swap her up with something what fits proper. I hope we get a base so cannon. Listen to me very closely, because this is important. I need the loudest cannon you have. Hear that? But the dragon cannon is forbidden. Ever since it woke the dragons of the far mountain in the last age. Perfect. That's the one. Very well. Dragon cannon. Dragon cannon, hoy! Right, you dogs. Raise hoy that elder boy. Oh, boy. Oh boy! Today we rouse the hells themselves! Oh my god! Don't keep the customer waiting all day! Just a moment more, I'm sure. Call her up, Buster! The Lord is dying all age up here! I am so sorry. Don't worry about it. Probably work. That sounds promising at least. Tell you what. Meet me at the ravenous caverns and we'll put the curse together. Together. Hmm. It sounds like a date. You hear that, chat? You arrived when you did. A coven of coils showed up at my hut the other day, claiming my magic cauldron for their own. We'll reclaim it soon, but we need the proper ingredients first. See how. Comrades and concubines of long bronze steel bear they are. Bones! So it's you who wants to destroy some plot armor. Didn't Lachance own some? I thought you two were flotsam bound together in a foamy sea of love. I we are now and always will be. But the chance has been kidnapped, and his plot armor sits on the burly chest of long bronze steel bear. I won't rest till my love is in my arms and my blade in Gilbert's gut. Gosh dang it. Do it. I fell. I fell. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. Zippity, 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 that was embarrassing. Hopefully no one saw me do that. Oh. 
Ah, uh, dang, I was hoping I could grab onto it from there, but I guess not. Where are these things again? Nope. Nope. So I should check, uh, what, what are my ring situation at right now? I think I can safely switch that out for something. Oh, definitely. Oh, though that's spell damage. I don't really use spells that much. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Now we'll need to collect curse essence from some sorry cursed souls. Oh, uh head to the grave of the bone picked pirates. They made the mistake of spending a night in these haunted caves, only to be eaten alive by cursed crabs. Uh. Now they too share the curse, transforming to their true crabby form when they grow weak. Summon them with the caster, and when they transform Put them out of their misery. We'll use their salty essence to make the curse. I didn't always trust the witch doctor so, but she's never failed to haul me backside out of the brine. Once she's got her cauldron, I'm confident she can concoct a cure for our conundrum. Makes sense. I have no reason to doubt this. Now place the hex cap. And watch it work its magic. Ow. What the heck? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, shit. the wrong one. Oh, well, there we go. Okay, that could have gone a little better. Let's see if we can improve on that, huh? See how this works. That is pretty fast. Wow. 
Oops, wrong one. Uh, there we go, that's one more. Mm, there we go. So oh, thank well you. Well I try. I'll need my cauldron. I'll meet you at the beach near my hut. But beware. Those royal thrones have given more sailors peg legs than the diamond sword dagger scissorine. Did I take a wrong turn? Oh. Oh, no, I don't think I go down, do I? Did I miss something? I guess I gotta go back outside? Okay. Oh, right, that's where a die was. Um, yeah, it looks like if I go down from here. So, yeah. I can't tell if the maps have gotten more confusing or if I really am just a lot worse than I thought. Uh-oh. Oh, that's pretty easy. You killed my coiled allies. Approach Area damage so ability. Uh, I don't know if I wanna. I'm probably gonna go. Now. Fire and thunder, your demonstration is at hand. Oh. I see how it is. Oh, this is pretty cool. Oh, 
Oh, oh my god. I don't even know what happened there. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh god. Oh my HP. Oh my aching HP. Hey, Deggy, how's it going? Hope you're having a good day. Adventure. Are you still a practitioner of the sea sorceress arts? Would you be asking for my help if I wasn't? Now you, drop the curse essence into the cauldron. Doing okay? I'm glad to hear it. It is a powerful kindness you do me. A thousand thanks. It's done. Gather it up in the hex caster and you can transform long bronze guild there. Pretty fun. I've been having a really good time with it. Uh, I've always been... Well, the original Borderlands was... Uh, it was a big part of my, uh, like, teenage years. Playing it with uh, my friend who turned out to be the one other uh, trans woman that I knew from our class. So it's like, oh yeah, this is a great comfort game. And then Borderlands 2 was also a big part of my college years. So it's like, oh yeah, this is a great comfort game. Never played Borderlands 3, never played uh, the prequel or anything like that. So this is the uh, third of the Borderlands games that I've played so far. And I'm having a pretty good time with it. Where am I going again? Oh, right. Uh, where is that exactly? Uh, okay, this direction. I, I am a little bothered by the maps because since they added... I mean, there's been platforming elements in every Borderlands, but this time they actually kind of planned on you being able to platform, so it's like a, a little more complicated to try and read the maps and I'm already so bad at reading maps. No more blood needs to be shed unless that blood be the blood of Long Bronze Gilbert. Parley, step aside you lot. I'm here to parley with the captain. They're going to do the parlays more of a guidelines thing. Short colors the port colors scarred. Okay, that's fair. The ancient and subtle code of parley. Pirate law protects these scallywags, so we can't just fight through. This pirate law, does it protect beasties? Brilliant! That just might work! Sea creatures probably aren't under the purview of pirate law. Hit them with a hexy! It worked! Look! Their characters make conspicuous by their cowardly carapaces! Okay, well, you're gonna lurk on mute. Ah, uh, no problem. It was nice, uh, it's nice meeting you. I, I can't remember if we've talked before, but it's nice meeting or at least re-meeting you, and, uh, I hope to see you around again sometime. Let's see... Hmm. Oh, thank you. That's very kind to hear. Oh, <laughs>
This is awkward. No! Fine, how's it going? Hunter, how's it going? It's nice to meet ya. Gotta do that the next time you sell your soul. Mm. The trick is, uh, just sell your soul for enough power to destroy the thing that you sold your soul to. And then you can just get your soul back and it becomes a renewable resource. Very easy, very simple. Nice to meet you as well. Nice model you got there. Thank you. I made it myself. Come on. Let's go. There we go. Oh no. really expertly made. Well, thank you. Yeah, I, uh, the first model I spent a couple of months, well, I spent for the first model probably like a solid month working on it. Uh, then when I did my full body revise, I was probably, uh, I'd say it was probably a month and a half, but at the same time, I also did a lot more work on it, and am still actively touching up and upgrading things as I go, so I guess it's... Oh, oh god. So, uh, you, you wanna see what happens sometimes uh, if you make one small mistake in 
rendering a model in live 2D like this. Let me show you. Uh, let me show you what happens if I... What, let me show you what happened when I loaded in the textures for this model one time. All right, we get five whole minutes of this, so enjoy, I guess. All right, it's me. <laughs> this is what happens. This is what happens if you uh, if you do not render a texture for a model correctly. And now I've been cursed with this form for about five minutes. Abstract art. Oh, thank you. I guess. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I need to do that first, though. Ooh. Oh, no! You look way better than those weird psychic bosses. Oh, God! Oh, you, you have, uh, oh god, oh god, okay. You have a uh, red health bar, alright. Oh my god. This is a, this is actually a pretty cool boss design. <laughs> god, that's such a big AoE. Oh, I still. Thank you. I would have totally forgotten about that. Mm, boop. There we go. It's great because you can kind of see bits and pieces of the model that actually do look kind of recognizable, uh, but then everything else is just an absolute freaking mess. Oh God. Oh god, this guy is rough. We're almost there, though. Almost there. And by the way, you can call him Hunter. Full name's Boss Hunter. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. What are the psychic bosses you mentioned, by the way? I'm kind of curious now. Oh. Okay, before I... Don't worry, I can also sometime do English as treat. If I'm lucky. As treat. Curious about what this does. Maybe we can find that out real quick. Okay, it was gear. Oh, wait, no, it might have been, uh, it might be a weapon. Technically, no, it is in gear. All right, let's check that. Ba, 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 ba. Spellbooks, Frostburn. Can you hunt bosses as long as I have? You see weird things. Play video games an uncomfortable amount because sun is too deadly to go anywhere. Ah. Uh, uh, no, that, that's understandable. I, uh... I have uh, I've a family history if you well I, it's a family kiss history if you account my um you know my component bits and pieces and parts oh my god the the timer didn't freaking start 
great. Now I have extra time for no reason. Uh, but some of my heart donors, uh, unfortunately do have a bit of, uh, vulnerability to sunlight as well. So, it's something that I try to be more conscious about than I am. Unfortunately, I'm usually not super successful, but I try. That's gotta be worth something, probably. I hope. <laughs> Ditch a lot of this stuff. Terror can fill any space. Oh right, that's the that's the shark one I just unaffected. Got. Bones, where are you? You can counter that with a ring of minor holy magic, unless you're weak to holy. You know, I've never actually tried. Oh. Oh, dang. Can you hear me, Bones? A chance! My love! Aww. You're free! Free and waiting for you. Aww. You always come for me, Bonesy. And sure is the time. Here you are. Oh, the chance! But I'm a skeleton, and ye be not beneath her. We can't truly be together. Aww. Unless... Unless... Matey here uses some sea sorcery. Oh, hex me. You sure? That last fight was brutal. Sure is sure. Once I'm a fearsome giant, All right. I'll pop right out Watch of it turn armor. it turn him into a tiny little crab <laughs> instead, though. Spirit from my corporeal bonds. Okay. Uh <laughs> what happened? I'm Tini. I can help with that through an ancient, mysterious, and complicated sea sorcery ritual. Well, don't just stand there talking about it. Get me spirit out of here, uh, if you please. Sure thing. What? Hold still. Bam! <laughs> Oh. At long last, I'm free of that cursed bony prison. No, both of these guys are remarkably beardless for pirates. Beautiful as the day we met. My love, when I'm with you, I'm the luckiest Aww. pirate in all the seas. I give up all the nautical debauchery in the world for just one more. The chance. Aww. Confused sipping. Yeah, that, uh, I wouldn't worry about it too much. As for you, I bequeath to ye me chest of worldly plunder. We won't be needing it when we're going. Oh? Tis all yours, oh. Be hearty. Now come see us away. His terrible luck starting a journey without a proper send off. Oh, I, I got a plunder first. All right. There we go. It was nice playing uh, and pleasure. working with oh, you and all that. Good luck with your voyage mm -hmm. or whatever. What? The voyage? <laughs> where to? We have no chart. I don't need a map to know we're bound for adventure, dearest. Let's get away from all this. Away, chance away. We'll go away together. Away, chance away. <laughs> Oh, that was nice. Hmm. None of these things look particularly good. Although this one actually is kind of nice. Hmm. Was there anything else that we got from that? Okay. Eight piece of jealousy. 
Oh, I'm free. <laughs> oh boy, let's uh, let let's get back to a more Euclidean model, huh? I'm back. Aha. <sighs> All right. Let's see what exactly the eight piece does. Also, uh, if you got any questions or anything, feel free to ask. I, I like being able to talk with people. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. By the way, uh, if you want a model hunter, I do do commissions. And also, if you want a model, I'm also more than happy to walk people through the creation process of some of these. I realize it can be kind of uh, difficult. Fires sticky crossbolts with a chance to carry a bomb. Okay. Five seconds. Each bolt has a chance to ricochet and carry a bomb. Uh huh. I don't understand that. But I'm sure we can figure it out. <laughs> it's it's worse in pretty much all ways, but uh, we'll work with it. You're good? First you need to find income somehow. And anyway, I want to see if I can make PNG tuber work. Honestly, that's a very good way to go. I, I still end up doing PNG tuber stuff sometimes if a game is particularly unoptimized or uh poorly well poorly optimized mainly <coughs> elden ring oh okay oh that that's got a fast speed oh my gosh okay well i guess we can see how that works uh, so am i trying to get to the area below me i am so uh could i just like I totally can. Awesome. And we're out. The thing you, uh, the thing you run can barely handle Twitch at source quality. Oof. I feel you there. When I started out doing this, uh, close to two years ago, I was working off of a laptop that at the time I think was around seven years old. And, uh, let me tell you, I would regularly crash or get blue screens, like, to the point where if I didn't have a single instance where that happened, it was a good stream. <laughs> and I was just regularly used to having to restart it at least once, if not a lot more. Okay. Booting up OBS is a 50-50 between horrible, horrible BSOD or lag hell. Yeah, that's not, uh, that's, that's pretty familiar and, uh, it's not great. <laughs> I, I wish you the best of luck. It is not difficult, or, no, not difficult. It's not easy getting all of the stuff that you need to do this sort of thing. So, uh, I... Uh, wishing you luck is about all I can do at this point, I think. Oh. oh, thank you very much for the follow, boss hunter. It's been nice to meet you. Honestly, I'm probably not really going to use this, so... 
No, you're also a fence, so shush. G Wizard of Comfort. Mm hmm. But yeah, if if you've got any questions about anything, let me know. I uh, I like talking. <laughs> it's a weird ward. Increase movement speed if it's full or if it's depleted. So I, I guess if it's anything but those two, it doesn't do anything. Oops. Did I accidentally sell something I didn't want to? Nope. No. Favorite ice cream? Ooh. Good question. Uh, I would say... I, I've only ever had it in one place, but it was very, very good. It was a, um... It was a... Honey, cra it was like a chocolate covered honey cr honey comb and graham cracker and kind of kind of like a little bit like a s'mores ice cream, but there was there wasn't really uh, any actual marshmallow in it. Honestly, graham cracker and chocolate covered honeycomb on its own, surprisingly pretty good. There was also a single time that I had root beer flavored ice cream, which I didn't know that I would have enjoyed, but turns out, yeah, it's pretty good. I think so anyway. Yeah, I wish I could use this, but it only helps one of the classes I have. I would really prefer to have something that helps both. What about you? Watch your back, spade maker. Mint and dark chocolate? Nice, 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 nice. That's a very good combo. Nice part about mint is, like, just no matter what context the mint is in, it will inherently make uh, everything else feel cooler. So it works really well with any kind of, well, any kind of cold thing. Ice cream especially. What was I looking to do again? Completely forgotten. No, it ain't true, but at this point in your life, mint is a very strong cryomancy catalyst. Hmm. Well, I mean, the thing about magic is it's only as real as you allow yourself to believe it is. And while there's certain things that you should not leave just to magic, you can actually do some, like, power of positive thought stuff. But I'm not an expert, so I should not be the one trying to teach anyone how that stuff works. I'm gonna try this out. I don't know if it'll be any good, but we can at least try. Loot luck is pretty nice. Ooh. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely... Plus bravery against stronger foes? What the heck is that going to mean?
I, I guess all I'm saying is that I, I don't necessarily believe every kind of, like, magical thing is true, but I think that there is some potential in stuff, if that makes any kind of sense. I mean, I do like how fast this shoots. says the jackalope to the hunter. Listen, I mean, to be fair, in in my personal character's lore, uh, jackalopes don't exist in the natural world. We are, we are made. That's why we're patchwork and taxidermy. Ooh, I got a little Hydra friends. Ow. What hit me? Ah, what? What is hitting me? Honestly, not sure. Well, anyway. But yeah, I am rabbit on my mama bun's side. I am deer on my father's side, and I am taxidermy undead construct on my mad scientist's side. Gee, B, why does your Laura give you three whole parents? Oh, hello, Laura. Foolish, Kasara. She doesn't believe in the power of the Void God Drill. She keeps saying that the High Pantheon will smite him down and sing our Oh, down what's your lore? Depths. You got me curious and now. Honestly, I think she's just jealous. We shall pay her no heed. Let the sacrifices begin. Hmm. This feels like a trap. What do you guys think? Good, good point. They raised a very good point. Hunter's bloodline goes all the way back to the dude possessed by a legion? Wow. That is a very long time. I'm impressed. What are you doing down here, smooth skin? It's pretty hard to whoa, whoa, uh, keep whoa, a bloodline whoa, going, you know? She said smooth skin. I'm offended, I think. Honestly, I don't even see what the big deal is about having skin. Sometimes skin is too dry, sometimes skin is too wet. No thanks. Yeah, you wouldn't get it. It's a skin thing. Okay, the next person to say skin is spontaneously combusting. Skin. She said it first. I'm just walking through. What are you doing here? I am sorry. It has been a very long time since I spoke with anyone. Of course, you seek passage. Mm -hmm. I can aid you. Here, take this cipher. Now, gaze upon the shrine, and let mm -hmm. the words flow through you. Uh... Yeah, yeah. How did I do that? Only the coils may be granted passage through the drowned... Oh, cool. This we have a new language proficiency. There are three more shrines. You must intone their words aloud. Before the doors to the temple of sacrifice will open. Okay, I can do that. This was once a sacred place to me and my sisters. Long ago when we shared skies. Before the days of chains. Before the drowning. 
You must reach the temple of sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Inside is a light that will grant us. So I, I take it from the name that you're some sort of monster hunter? Okay, she's creeping me out a little. And not just because she used the S word. Yeah, she's got too many proper nouns going on. Chains, drowning, sacrifice. What? No! She's great! I really want you to like her! Yeah. Icarus trusted the skeleton man just fine. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, he was a pirate. Dante, well, with your detect intent ability, you can tell that she's a real sweetheart who's honest and trustworthy, and you love her. Yeah, but the priestess class has a concealed intent ability. Ooh. Ah! Man, that, that's weird. I wonder why they need the Conceal Intent ability. Hunters left his guild because, as it turns out, all the boss level beings were being eradicated, even those that were pacifists. Ooh, yeah. Uh, you know, that seems to happen sometimes with a lot of monster hunting groups. Weird. Okay. Is this a f it is. Hello. Sure, why not? Hey, if this works, it works. Uh oh. As it was hey, uh Kino, help. That actually worked surprisingly well. Oh, this is fun. Fuck that giant crab, though. So, how? What? What kind of monsters are we talking about? Are we talking like D and D monster hunter? Uh, World of Darkness, Warhammer... There's a lot of different fantasy things with monsters, really. Yeah, it looks like it got everyone. Uh, how do I get out again? There we go. Ooh. Huh. That does seem to be kind of better in almost every way well boss do you see a hero of light defeating oh i don't think i've ever met a hero of light at least not in that context i mean it's probably for a best Okay, dude. I stop them singing their intoxication siren song. They lured my men into their bone. Oh, God. I wish I could have saved them, my own self. Hunter also fights heroes to the death. Why? Because one of them game over. Oh, that is pretty rough. Okay. Falling under the spell of a song. What a bunch of sissies. Just so we're clear here, that now dead pirate was talking about sirens, right? As in the dangerous women that lure sailors to doom via drowning? And not the magical ladies who are very real and are. <laughs> yep, skis, you got it. Look at you two drawing conclusions and crap. Oh, there's some marble over there. Oh, can I ah no. Ah, let me back up. Let me back up. Let me back up. Okay, let's see. Maybe I can jump to it from here? Yeah, this looks like it. 
Ah, yes, just in time. Shaking in their boots. Okay. The idea is Lord Hero has been twisted into nothing more than a class. Oh. That that sort of reminds me of have you ever heard of um have you ever heard of World of Darkness specifically? There is a version of it called uh I think it's Beast the Awakening. Or it's beast the something for sure. I know that much, but that reminds me of it because where did I put that? There we go. Uh, because hero is also a uh, so in beast the uh, beast the primordial. That's it. You play as someone who is actually part of like an archetypal mass subconscious force of nightmare and fear and just by being around and existing you cause other people to create these complex complexes where they think that they're the hero of the story since you're the villain by the nature of you existing so they by existing beasts create heroes who usually end up being kind of uh, incredibly self-centered and uh, very dangerous because when you're able to think of yourself as the hero and everyone else as just a bit character or an enemy for that hero, uh, you can justify a lot of terrible things. If you're interested, I can send you links. It's, well, it's the world of darkness, so there's a lot of complicated stuff going on, really. I mean, the fire rate is very good. I'll look it up later, but you'll, uh, but you see the gist. Hmm. Now, where was I gone? Right. Oh, that's right, and I also have new points. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I can finally get this. Nice. Okay, that works. Now I can start focusing on Clawbringer. Read sounds super evil. What? You don't know? It could be like a recipe or something. Yeah, a recipe for people. Uh uh. Ixay on the animalism case. We're keeping it rated T for Tina here. Dust in the crops again? Okay. Oh, you're still over there. How can I hit you from here? Not with that. I can kind of hit you with that. Point being, don't meet your heroes. They could end up being the darkest ones in your life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can get back up here. That makes that much easier. There's a jump pad over here. Is 
Hello? What is up here? is in here that is so special. I see a chest. That's pretty special. Anything up here? Ah! Oh. Oh. Okay, we got that, we got down here. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's another chest and a loot die over there. Ooh. Let's see, can I... I don't think I can get there from here, but I think if I go back up a floor... That should give me enough height. Maybe more than one floor. Yeah. Well, who knows? Maybe it will. Uh, ah, nope. Okay, well, let's find that jump pad again. If you haven't noticed by now, you write a lot. Hey, don't worry about it. I... I also have written my fair share of roleplay stuff, and just in general. Plus, most of the people that I hang out with day to day are also writers. And there we go. Yeah. Lucky you. Ah. Eh. Meh. Meh. Yeah. I'm honestly pretty happy with my uh, my current SMG, so I probably won't be using that, but still, nice to get, just to get for loot. Wait, am I going the right way? I'm not. Actually, if you may ask, was there necromancy involved in me? Um, no. It was primarily uh, taxidermy and alchemy. I don't really know the exact process. That was more of uh, my parents and my doctors worked stuff out. What's the deal? Where are these ladies? And aren't they supposed to be singing? I am it's the, uh, the incredible Dr. Valentine, as they're known. Well, this feels like it's a boss area. Hmm. Wonder how I get up there for that. Uh, pretty sure I can't just shoot these, right? Yeah. Oh, you an alchemist? Ah, oh, dang it, so close. Okay, I can get up to here. Ah, oh, no, not quite. There has to be another way up. Blame your werewolf obsession. Hunter is an alchemist type, lair oh, alchemical type werewolf. Ooh. How does an alchemical type werewolf work? I assume that means that you're like completely independent of the moon? Probably if it was an in-game balance thing, using like some weaker version of whatever the standard werewolf template is. 
but this isn't in a game, so we don't really need to balance it. <laughs> Oh, that feels like a trap. Let us test your resolve. <laughs> you were short work. What an epic belly rub you shall have. That's my boy. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I mean, the fire rate is really, really nice on this gun, even if everything else about it is worse than other guns I already have. You like the weapon designs? I do too! I've always been a fan of Borderlands as an aesthetic, because it just becomes, like, it is, it is a very shitty world that no one wants to be in. It's not like a cool punk. It's a punk that everyone's in there by force, but everyone is too stubborn to allow themselves to be killed until they get out of the shithole. I always liked that element of it. Uh oh. Excuse me. Higgin, biggin, diggin. Aw oh, man, we done got charmified. <laughs> I like that my pets haven't been. This is just railroading. It all started when our eyes met across a bistro on Hedon 6. Hey, what did I just say? Hell no. Hell no. Fine, okay. <laughs> you kind of had to get a lot of complicated ingredients, but in the end, all it means is that no curse, uh, nor, uh, nor lunar, oh, no to, nor does lunar, stuff Luna have any power of you. Okay. Man, we didn't even get a saving throw or shit. Come out, Claw. I need to have to kill you right now. Fine! I'll just kill your pet so you show yourself. Oops, wrong one. Uh Um. Wait, are those crabs talking? Oh man! And they sound real depressed too. I don't want to kill sentient crabs. Oh. Do I have to kill you guys? Yeah. Ow. Oh, this is a weird quest line.
Hey, sorry about that. Oh, I love this guy already. And where am I? I asked myself the same thing on the day the Slither Sisters cursed me and my crab brethren with consciousness. I have questions. Hmm. That's all consciousness is. An endless mod. Hold that thought, please, sir. Questions okay, carry on. There are no answers. How can you stand or live like this? Well, you know, it, it was a rhetorical question. All I want, all we want, is to return to a blissful life of scuttling to and fro without a care in the world. Ah, what a curse it is to care. Poor crab. Please help us. Together we can destroy the sisters. First. You must destroy the clampifiers. Nice. Okay. Oh. Uh. Okay. I assume it's that giant glowy thingy. Couldn't destroy these clampifiers themselves. Mm. Excellent question. Oh. Oh, okay. Isn't this just bringing me back to the beginning? We have crushed the clampifiers ourselves, but our claws are more decorative than folks imagine. We weren't ashamed of it until those damn sisters cursed us. I'm learning so much. Now that you've destroyed the clamp fires, your sisters will be able to charm you again. I'll meet you at the lair. Oh, that was pretty easy. I thought it was going to be this whole big ordeal. Hey, pop up, would you? Thank you. Let me tell you, alchemy is the most broken thing in reality, even with all the rules imposed. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I didn't even need to be a, a construct of magical science to tell you that. Uh, I pretty much already knew that from watching Full Metal Alchemist as a child. Oh, that's uh, pretty underwhelming, but... Uh... Oh, is this how I got up? Or get up? Yeah, it is. Awesome. Hmm. You fail in exchange, you get sent to be judged. But what happens if you don't exactly have a normal soul? Beats me. Never had. I, I never actually, like, learned actual alchemy myself, so I got no clue. It's probably for the best that I don't find out, I mean. If I were to take a wild guess. Oh, the summon fails? Oh! Well, that doesn't seem nearly as bad. I am still totally under your power. Don't worry about it. Keep the crab alive to wallow in the pain of his own existence. But you we're gonna have some fun with you.
Um, no thank you, ladies. Hey, uh... Oh! Thank you, Cap'n! <laughs> I'm being saved by a crab! I'm glad he didn't attack me. I would have been sad if I had to kill him. Well. That was certainly a quest. <laughs> so you're just gonna be chill with me? Okay. I like him. I was a little... I felt my immersion a little bit broken by that, if I'm honest, because, like, being, uh, being part fey on my mother's side, I was like, oh, come on, you're, you're telling me I'm not immune to this? Oh, I'll make a nice uh, I don't think so, but... No, help. Thank you, Kino. Yeah. God, that that's a long lasting cloud. Not the Fae. Not again, y'all are so hard to even stay civil with. Yeah. They kind of are, by nature, much. Much what? Don't worry about it, just much. This pistol is really growing on me. I didn't think I would have used it at first, but it's really pretty fun to use, actually. Anything up here? Hmm. Yeah. Nope, guess not. They have an ungodly amount of rules, and you know how much they pay for each boss contract? Not worth it. I can believe that. Honestly, it's more of a pain in the butt being part fey than anything else, because, like, believe me, I would absolutely love to be super social and talk a whole bunch and have wonderful conversations all the time, but let me tell you, when all of your conversations get locked behind. If you wish to communicate with me, you must find the secret password. It, it really becomes a real pain in the ass. Oh.
Just magic lawyers convince me otherwise. I can't. You're right. Congrats. You've reduced Fey to their barest essence. I missed. You gotta watch your word in about as strictly as you would with the demon. Hmm. Yeah. We are kind of pretty terrible that way. Oh, thank you. Hashtag not all fey. cool in your book? Yeah. Oh, sorry ma'am, I... I did not realize you were still alive. Would you like to come here? Would you like to... No? Okay. Not fair. Is that all of them? Looks like it. Lore. What's the deal with the drowning? This city was once a beacon of civilization, a symbol of the united coiled people. But some craved power and allied themselves with the dread void god known as Drill. When I'm really down, hoping that Drill turns out to be a reference to the Twitter account Drill. Because that would be really great. Is that a section I've been to before? It is not. Is it a section I can get to? Yes! Oh my gosh, that's so much damage. I think if I end up replaying this game, I might try to do a, uh, a Berserker as part of my build. That could be pretty fun. Because I do quite enjoy meleeing things. Now let's see, what was the point of coming over here? There's something. Hmm, now how do I get up there? Hmm. No. Oh. Nope. Hmm. Okay. Yep. Nope. Okay. We're learning. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So was there anything decent? Uh, nope. And... Oh, I, I guess the rest of it fell through. <laughs> hmm. If there was anything else. I guess not. Oh. Well. Oh well.
Okay, let's see. Yep. Oh, okay, we made it. Woo! <laughs> Feels like we're gonna be good on uh ice boomy damage for a while. Oh hey Villateer, how's it going? Welcome back. Uh how does this compare with this? Little worse damage. Uh better everything else though. But, yeah, we can try that. Going well, I'm glad to hear it. Let's get casting and blasting. So, what you been up to? Thank you very much, Mr. Rookie, for joining the Warren. Nice to meet you. How's it going? Ooh, extra reload speed could actually be pretty nice. Would it be nicer than, uh... Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Let's try it. You're great? Awesome. Glad to hear it. Hope everyone is having a lovely day today. I'm going to be going a little longer than normal. Uh, normally, actually, uh, normally I would have been done by now. Okay, I'll take that. I don't think I deserved it, but I'll take it. How's, he, how's uh how's everyone doing today, Belle? What you been up to? What you got planned for the weekend? Almost there. Gotcha. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's on the move. And also on fire, so we're good. So how is this game? Just got the game. Any tips for a new player? Hmm. Well, I've only been playing it for a couple of weeks, and most of the time I've been playing it, it's been on stream, so I haven't really played it that much. Uh, but in general, lifesteal is still pretty good. Um, don't be afraid to turn down the difficulty, because this one definitely feels like if you have experience with prior uh, Borderlands games, this one definitely feels like they've uh, ramped up the single-player difficulty by a fair amount. So, yeah, you know, just don't be afraid to uh, switch to a lower difficulty if you need it. What was that? Uh... Oh, that's a thing? Dang. That's pretty brutal. Uh, beyond that... What is... Okay, it doesn't look like that. Oh, it's a single shot, though. Oh, well, I guess we can give it a shot. 
Ah, I get it. Uh, but beyond that, you're kind of fairly free to do what you want in terms of uh, builds. Keep in mind, though, that uh, you'll definitely get some stuff a, a lot later than it feels like it. The maps can be very difficult to navigate, but that's also a me thing. Sorry for coming back and dashing, but you need to go. Hey, no problem. It was nice seeing you. And uh, I'll try and see you again soon. I'm not sure about this, uh, the single shot, though. That is kind of a bummer on this. Is it worth the 121 extra damage, though? Hmm. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Hmm, it's not a bad speed. Plus, if I'm using it, that means that I'm basically hanging out back here. And, like, I'm ideally not going to be in a place where I can potentially get got. Even after the drowning, my sisters continue to practice profane rituals. I have observed their rites and know them well. We will need to light a fire. Why would there be a fire pit in an underwater That's a good question. Club because it, uh, was a surprise ambush! I take fear on the Not run from the storm! Um. I like that they're all just called, um, uh, um, uh. Welcome to Writer Problem number big number. You may have thought of everything. There's always something else. Absolutely. Ooh, a fish chest. Oh, hold on, chat. I got a phone call I need to answer. Hello? I did, but I had some technical issues, so I'm going till nine. I mean, we've got leftovers if you want. Do you want something else? Oh, I, I said we got leftovers if you want. The loin? The pasta? Alright. Alright. All right. Huh. And I have fish. Fish. That is one dead fish. Could it still light a fire? Wow, Valentine. I didn't know we had a fishologist in the house. It's a magic fire fish. It's got tons of magic fire juice still all up in it, okay? <laughs> Did 
just checking real quick to see if there's any possible loot dies around here. You never know. Never know. It's another thing I can recommend. Since they're actually intending on you being able to platform in this one, they've gotten a lot more creative about where they hide the goodies. So be prepared to look around for them. Oh, I gotta do something. Yeah, come on. Ow. Excuse me? Ow. Oh, there we go. I just needed to shoot it, I guess. up with a better excuse. The Emberjack survived the explosion due to the sheer mana it had. Of course, that spent a good chunk of it, but there's but the flames will still work. Yeah, that works. I I'd take it. I do kind of like being able to shoot a little faster, so I'm switching back to that. I don't one. go spewing spores everywhere. You hear me? Oh. Speaking of. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, back up we go. Trying to make me fight fair. For shame. Uh, oh, oh, dang, it worked! Ha <laughs> ha! Awesome! Uh, meh. 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 What are you fighting? Hello? Hello, fire spirit. Catch! Oh, over here. Bad luck or bad choices. Dead all the same. That's my boy! Yeah, I'm following, don't worry. Look, I appreciate how hard you're committing to the dumb hero bit, but you do get your walking right into her trap, right? It's hack writing. Even those other idiots at the table can see through it. Yeah, fire spirit? I'm following you, what's up? Oh, I was standing in your way, I guess. All right, hold up, hold up.
Oh, no, you don't. Okay. At the end of the stream, Tina's had enough of Valentine's crap. Ah, fair, I guess. At the end of the stream, I think I'm going to try to uh, do a little bit of character customization before we... Fully wrap up. Wait, how did she get here first? Pretty suspicious. Look, uh, please, you guys will really like her if you just talk to her a little more. Okay. I am afraid I haven't been completely honest with you. <gasps> <laughs> I knew it. There is one last sacrifice to make. Here it comes. And I make it gladly. I will go with you. What? When my sisters fell to the temptations of drill, I blamed myself. I vowed to remain in solitude for ah. my sins. But you have shown me that passage through hardship can only be accomplished alongside friends. Ah. I will join your party and aid you on your quest. Oh, what? Okay. No. There has to be a twist. She's lying. The priestess's maddened sister's attack. Drawn by her nefarious spells. Sisters, I defy you now, and I defy you then. You cannot stop us. I hope she doesn't die in this fight. That would be actually kind of a bummer. Thank you, Seeker of Passage. You have given yeah. me hope. I will repay you in kind. With friendship. Yeah, not buying it. No, dude! She really means it! May I have a hug? Yeah, sure. It's been so long since I felt the warmth of another on my skin. Oh, she said the S word. Uh, no, 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 she didn't. She super did. <laughs> say it. I know what I said. No. Fucking oh. oh. I No. Oh. It didn't even give me a chance to say skin. Could have said scales. She doesn't have skin, she has scales. 
Wait a second, what? Hey chat. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Hey chat, have you seen Kino? Oh, there you are. Welcome back. Anything here? Tina does kind of need to learn how to be a better DM, though. Or BM, I guess. If it's Bunker Master. Right. Stone Cold Stunner? Okay. I guess we can try that out. We can give that a shot. Uh oh. Fine. You know what? You wanted a fight? I'll give you a fight. I didn't want to fight. I didn't want to fight. Oh my god. Wow, I'm really eating through the HP, though. Not fast enough, but still, that was pretty... Oh. That was pretty impressively quick, I thought. Totally sure what was going on with the shields that time. So this drains the ward. Feels like that might not be the best one for this particular fight. So I'm gonna say. Whoop. Oh, 
Ow. Ow. There, we might still be able to power through. There we go. Oh, Tina, that's really not how that works. <sighs> Tina, 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 Tina. Do I have anything good? Shock at a range. Uh, that's technically shock. I'm technically at a range. Wanna try that? I guess I can try it. Oh. Oh god, okay. Okay, yeah, that's never gonna reach it. Got it. Okay. Um maybe I do have to use this then. Now she's become a killer DM. Uh oh. Why am I pinned? Ow. Okay, phase two done. How many more phases we got? Oh, come on, man. We're all just trying to have fun. You're the one who set the rules. And anyway, if you hadn't said the S word, she would still be alive. Oh, oh, so now you care about rules. <sighs> I don't have good dexterity dodges! I'm gonna try doing something risky here. I don't know how to dodge that one. Oh my god, oh god, oh god, there's so many mines. Ow. Ow. Oh god, come on. Okay. Okay, finally. Ends. And maybe Kasara could even come back as a friendly ghost. Nah, she's dead. I'm over it. Quest complete! D do the thing where it says quest complete! <laughs> See how fragile she really is? All that fear, all that doubt. Where do you think she puts it? Right into this world. She has all of the cruelty of a god and none of the responsibility. Okay. So can I touch this or... 
No, no, I cannot. Okay. Duly noted. <laughs> Slappin' Drills, Legacy of Howling Skies. Gosh, okay, well, let's see what that does. Pistols, SMGs. Always fire. While firing, randomly send out a bouncing lightning, uh, lightning orb. When it hits an enemy, it creates a large lightning sphere. And continuously deals lightning splash damage. Hmm. Well, I'll certainly compare it to the Heck Wader, at least. Wow. Uh, yeah, you know what? I think I'm gonna stick with the Heck Wader. It, um... It's kinda looking... Better in every way? Except magazine size. Fair. Either way, both of them are always fire, so the percent chance doesn't matter. It does more fire, admittedly. Hmm. Eh, I mean, I guess we can try it out. I don't have high hopes for it, but we can try it out. And you know what? Let's try this one out now. That we aren't so uh, immediately close to dying. So let me see if I can figure out how this works exactly. Hmm, I'm not sure. Anyway. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Shotgun. I mean, I gotta try this, right? I gotta. What kind of cowardly fool would I be if I didn't? Some idiots hidden their loot over there. We gotta try it at least. Oh my god. Okay, well, I've got a new lightning gun if I need one. <laughs> god dang. Not gonna have it on full time, but god dang. Can balance ever be restored? Uh -oh. Is it enough to defeat the uh -oh. or 
must it be destroyed entirely? I don't know. It's a good question. Does anyone have crossplay, or are they gonna wait until there's almost no one playing the game? Oh, uh, I don't know. I hope that they end up doing something like that. Yeah, 360. Ooh. Let's try it, huh? It's a big old flaming axe. Why not? Why not? Hey, what's this do, though? Anything back here? Does this take me anywhere? I don't know. It's not what I'm supposed to do. Your TV's really weird? Oh? How so? The volume is on zero? And you can hear me? Huh, that is weird. You have emerged from the depths and permanently unlocked a new shortcut. Look at you. Okay, so I got a little spicy back there. You know, Tina, Tina had a little bit of a habanero thing going on, but we're gonna get the adventure back on track, okay? Fate maker, you are nearing the former ocean's edge. But what was once sea level is now a towering cliff. You'll need to find a way up. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to quickly go to Bright Hoof so I can try out the new customization things. And then we're going to sign off. But log off, sign off, and find someone to raid. <sighs> oh, there's new quests still. All right, what we got? Deep in the bowels of the abyss. <laughs> you shall find that a certain archaeologist is in distress and requires your aid. Having fun, little fungus? At last. I was beginning to wonder when someone would accept my quest. Such a quest I have. Where's the... Where is it again? God. So bad at navigating shit in this game. And in no, just in in general, I'm pretty bad at navigating shit. I know that blacksmiths is around here somewhere. That's blacksmith? No. Uh wait. Okay, I think we have to go that way then. For the customization, anyway. For you, yes. Come to me. This quest shall carry you to the furthest vertices of the world, from the critical crevasse to the fumbling fjords. For lo, my aim is to cast the spell of ultimate flame, and to do so none other than the most powerful reagents. Luckily, I recently discovered a runic tome outlining these ingredients in some detail.
up an awful lot of space now. Let's see what else we got over here now. Ooh! That's interesting. Not my deal, but it's interesting. <laughs> That's just a helmet. You can't fool me. are some nice colors. Do we want to divert from the, uh, the color we have had for this long? Maybe it's time. Where's this? Oh! those things. No, it's not those things. Um... What? Is it just me, or does anyone else not notice what's changing? Oh, they're tattoo colors, and I don't have tattoo. I probably should have figured that one out sooner. Admittedly, that one's on me. shadow either. Oh. Of all the Borderland games you've played so far, it excludes this one and Telltale. Three is your favorite because of the gameplay, like grenades being actually useful and sliding and the other ones are also good. What do you think of the uh, the new hair color, chat? Should I go back to being blonde? Oh, I let people think about that. Let's take a look at some of these other things. Think it looks cool? Hmm. Polka pots. Oh, glowy. goes with the hair better.
Sorry, this is just this is just fun now. <laughs> Looks like she just farted. Kina, let me get a look at your new uh, head color. Okay, well, I think that's a good place as any to end for today. Okay, let's jump on over here. <laughs> Thank you all very much for keeping me company. Had a lot of new faces today and got to meet a lot of new friends. Looking forward to seeing plenty of folks. And I hope plenty of folks will be looking forward to seeing me again soon. Uh, let's see, can I get a exclamation social command while I start looking for someone to raid? Let's see. Thank you. So the first link is the Discord. If you'd like to get to know me or any of the other wonderful people in the community join it we're doing stuff like getting people for my tabletop campaigns from there disney channel original movie book club general watch along nights and also it's just cool and i like being able to wake up in the morning and see all the neat people that are there and say hi uh then there's the throne it's one of many ways you can support me if you want and are able to support financially through commissions or subs or what have you. Awesome. I super duper appreciate it. But honestly, one of the best ways that you can support is totally free, and that's through word of mouth. Share my channel and what I do with people you think would like it, rather it be through raid or just recommending me to someone. It honestly is a huge help. Uh, then we got Twitter. That's where I put my VOD. Oh, no. Sorry. Rearranging my order of answers. Twitter, that's where I put memes, homebrew that I make. Uh, it's where I put the artwork that I draw. And uh, it's also where my schedule gets posted every Sunday. And then finally, YouTube. That's the one that I put my VODs on when I remember to put my VODs somewhere. So, we have... <sighs> Tomorrow night, another another big deal for us. Uh, last week, we had what was supposed to be a D&D one-shot that I had been super nervous and uh, an anxiously and an anxiously anticipating having to do stuff for, and it ended up extending past a one-shot into a two-shot now, so... 
tomorrow, Saturday night, 6 p.m. EST. Be there for the thrilling conclusion of Elric's terrible, horrible, no good, very bad coronation. I've been putting a lot of work into it, and uh, I hope people like what ends up coming out of it. That again is tomorrow, 6 p.m. EST. Oh, I'm just going through the plugs and stuff, Nina. Now, let's see. Where should we raid? Be there or be, or be spherical? Sure, we can work with that. All right, so... Would y'all like to watch some Dungeons and Dragons, Clona, uh, A Hat in Time, any of those interest anyone? Because those are the ones that I'm looking at. Also, if anyone has any recommendations, I... to be on fire. I was only trying to make a grilled cheese sandwich. Uh -huh. This is why I can't take you anywhere. <laughs> oh gosh. Fire Bun Bun is doing Elden Ring. Oh. You know what? We can hang out with Fire Bun Bun. Sure. It's been a little while. Uh, let me let me mute the desktop audio so I can set up the raid. Do, do, do. Uh, ads. Takes all dang long. Okay, so we are going to be raiding. We are going to be raiding Fire Bun Bun. Fire Bun Bun. If you're coming along for the raid, here are some raid messages you can use. Take the first one if you're a follower. If you want to show off channel emotes, you can take the second one. Again, uh, thank you all for hanging out with me today. I had a real blast. And, uh,. Hopefully you did too. Fingers crossed, tomorrow will not turn into a three shot. <laughs> uh, but I'm I'm looking forward to the thrilling conclusion of that D&D &D game. So I hope to see you all tomorrow at 6 p.m. EST, okay? All right, let me give you all a hug. A smooch if you prefer. And, uh... I hope everyone has a fantastic weekend, and remember that some bunny really cares about you. It's me. I'm the bunny. All right. I love you. Goodbye. 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 All right. Love you. Goodbye.